24 hours. Cyber security, you get that in a year. Because cyber security, you get, they, uh, they, Microsoft put their program in all junior colleges around the country. And you can get it in six months, you can get your initial license. And them jobs <clears> start like 85000 a year. I would do that just to do it. And Microsoft put it out there. They said they're looking for 250,000 new employees by 2024. And then Google said put out, like they put like for like 80,000. Like it's basically going to be over a half million jobs out there in the next two or three years in cybersecurity. So y'all can go to any junior college around the country, look up the Microsoft certification course, and then six months you can make 85,000 a year. How many hustles? Do you think I'm gonna ask everybody the average nigga needs to be comfortable in life? Like for me, I was counting my hustles, right? Mm -hmm. And I got about seven ways that I get income every month. Mm -hmm. About seven. I, it's probably more than that, and I'm probably forgetting about some. But I got about seven, and I still I'm still not comfortable. If you, right. if you ain't got at least four, at least four, you yeah, still at, at your four. mama house. Least straight up, straight or, up. Or laid up on one of these broads. So how? But a lot of niggas don't know how to articulate having multiple hustles because we've been taught that you know do one thing, focus on one thing, be great at that, and and, and that'll do everything you needed to do. Hey, wait a minute. No, no. Hey, I'm with that. You know what I'm saying? I want you niggas to stay with one hustle. And, and, and all this lazy ass shit because I want a hamburger from time to time. <laughs> you niggas need to make it. You and know what I'm saying? Del Taco is paying $20 an hour right now in Pasadena. Damn. God damn. It's a short as work. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> Look, that nigga Del shook his head like, oh, that <laughs> nigga, what? I don't have no pride, my nigga. I know it may look like I got pride because I'm, you know what I'm saying? I talk a lot of shit, but I, I don't have no ego where, like, it, if to survive, People eat people when they get hungry enough. Man. I'm not going to let a motherfucker eat me. Man, I'm always going to be doing the eating. So if I had to go work at Del Taco, you just going to have to have jokes, nigga. Well, you, <laughs> what it is is it ain't where you're at is who you are. You ever see me in McDonald's? I ain't a McDonald's nigga. I'm a real nigga in McDonald's. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you, you better believe. Like Hell yeah. You already got that. You better believe <laughs> McDonald's is sponsoring something. Hell, Hell yeah. Coming up in the near future. You, you got them know? glasses out of a Happy Meal. <laughs> 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 you the nigga gonna package it for me. <laughs> <laughs> you the nigga that's gonna package it for me. Yeah, I like this. I said, I appreciate it. Like you, <laughs> somebody need to change your oil, rotate my tires. Yeah. Cause I can't. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's an art to to juggling multiple hustles. And a lot of these younger niggas don't know how to do it. So I feel like we should teach them because it's an art to it. You know what I'm saying? You should always have one main hustle that gets you about, I would say, 50% minimum of your money. Mm. That's minimum. That's going to pay the, the house note, the car <laughs> note. You buy your clothes with that money, and you can still put away. You should really only have to spend 30% of your main hustle to survive. Yeah. You should be able to put the other 60% away. You know what I'm saying? 70% away. Sounds good. It sounds good, but I mean, it's <laughs> yeah, doable. Yeah, real shit. It's doable. <laughs> it's doable. Everything's doable, but like doable. most niggas ain't. It's like doable. this. If you make 100 grand a year, you shouldn't be living in L.A. You should be living on the outskirts. Yeah, that's you, right. Man. It's just niggas don't want to. They, they, there's this weird-ass pride that's attached to niggas and what they can afford. As if what they can afford makes them lesser in everybody else's eyes. Nah, nigga. Right. Do what you can afford, mm -hmm. nigga. That's it. And learn how to, to 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 assess your situation. Most niggas don't know what they can afford. You know how a nigga get a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars and need a car? A nigga go say, man, I got two grand, man. I'm gonna buy a two thousand dollar car. No, no nigga. Five, five, you, right. you better not spend nothing over a thousand. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I say yeah. five to get you a yeah. bucket. Yeah, five Fix is what up. you make really make sure should it run do. good. Yeah, bro, yeah. Bro, you can't afford that, man. Your main hustle is how you pay for the basics. The next hustle, I would say, is your cash hustle. A lot of motherfuckers don't have a cash hustle, and you fucking yourself. You need a barber shop, flip a car uh, type of hustle where you can have cash in hand. Stop thinking that these white folks need to know everything you make. Everything you make ain't supposed to be on a W-2 or a 1099, nigga. Yeah. 
If you go ahead. Legally, yeah, it should be. Legally, it should be. I put everything on my W2. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got receipts for everything. I got receipts for everything. What he's saying is, is you supposed to be able to tell them what goes on the W2 versus them telling you. Or them already knowing you. Already knowing that Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they don't know. It's just that your job, they know because the job is sitting in Yeah, they don't. They tell them first. don't know. Shit. Until you uh, don't. Until, <laughs> depending on what kind of business you got. <laughs> I'm just talking about if it's off the yeah. books. Like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give a W two. You gotta sign an I nine, shit like that. If you don't, they don't know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They gotta. They there's no way they don't got no like beam into your account. You know what I'm saying? Right. They gotta get. Like people think that though. Like damn, they I got two thousand here, and they, they gonna ask how I got it. Right. They not though. They not worry about your. Yeah, they not worry about your little two racks, my nigga. You know what I mean? But it's, that's the mentality of a nigga who ain't got no bread. Go that's true. Be a weirdo. Joe Biden just changed the game up a little bit when we got that last uh, stimulus check. Oh yeah, how did you get them he deposits? Put Venmo yeah. and Venmo and Cash App. Yeah. You get more than six hundred dollars a they year. Can, they yeah. check they got the Venmo and Cash App. They got to send it into the IRS, so they gonna know. Mm -hmm. So know that. Not this last tax filing season, but next tax filing season. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Joe Biden made to where they looking all up in that. Right. Crazy so, Joe. So, Six you know that he's the only fans millionaires, though, right? You know that. That's, no, that's because part. he's a fucking Come on. Sit your ass down back there. <laughs> 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 Just be it. Yeah, he fucked Michael Jackson up in that fight. Yeah. <laughs> he beat Michael Jackson's ass. You got to have a cash hustle, man. If it's as simple as just flipping, whatever you pay ten dollars for, sell it for fifteen or twelve yeah. or wh whatever you can get. Profit. But always profit, get a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then you gotta have a long term hustle, something that's gonna hit big, but it's gonna pay you big, like a rich man's IRA or a 401k mm -hmm. or a self employed pension. All of these things are, are are accounts that bear a higher interest rate than a normal savings account. But you're actually making money off of those things, but it just takes longer for the money to come in. Mm. You just you just spoke German to eighty percent of niggas that's out here. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said Ira. That's the homie around the corner. Yeah. That nigga got money. Yeah. He worth something. Yeah, but a rich man's Ira. Ira is dope because yeah. you can borrow on it. A normal Ira, you can't borrow on it. There's a penalty if you take money out of it yeah. before its maturation. So a rich man's Ira is an investment account that's also like a loan. So if you've been paying on it for five years and you got 250k in there, you could borrow on that account without a penalty. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? It's very important to have that type of account because it's an asset that does more than one thing. You know what I'm saying? Also, um, life insurance. Life insurance is big. Yeah, you can borrow from those. Uh, Sleeping on that life insurance. Yeah, because they have life insurance policies you can borrow on too. Well, yeah, a lot of these <clears throat> niggas get life insurance is from their grandmamas. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's hard to explain to your grandma that you need a loan on your life insurance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're not going to really understand that. You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, if you die, nigga, how are we going to bury you? Right, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They don't get it. You know what I mean? But you got to have multiple you hustles. That shit. You got to have multiple hustles, man, because the system is designed to scrape you off the bottom, nigga. If you fall off, nigga, it's designed to push you into a, a prison pocket <laughs> or a, a, a pocket that's gonna ruin your fucking life. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, desperate measures, nigga. They got laws for that, my nigga. Uh, man, yeah. for you, real. You can't just run up in niggas' houses and rob them. But I mean, you can. <laughs> But when you get caught, nigga. That's man, it. When you ain't got your hustle right, them charges yeah. get nigga, federal, what? nigga. <laughs> For real, the motherfucker. My little, federal, my little cousin that was flocking, nigga. He been in that motherfucker. He, he got caught like around 0, 02, 03, still in that bitch. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Book that young nigga. Huh? They booked him, man. It's cold blooded. They booked him, man. I'm telling you, man. Um, well, cause I know somebody out there like it's easier said than done, man. I what you mean multiple hustles, man? I'm struggling, man. I live with my mama, you know. I blah blah blah, and uh, I'm gonna just tell you the first thing is no excuses, bro. Mm -hmm. Straight up, absolutely. it's no excuses, bro. We all we try. It's absolutely no excuses, nigga. I know what you're going through right now. Yeah, I get it. I know what you're going through right now. We all regular niggas, man. Oh yeah, for Everybody sure. Everybody in here ain't got it. Everybody in here ain't up. Have some minutes of Sony cheeseburgers. You know? <laughs> 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 what is hungry, Sean? What'd you do for that? That nigga coming off community. That nigga came from community service, nigga. <laughs> that nigga came from cleaning up the freeway. <laughs> I was cleaning out your dog pen.
Yeah. It's a kennel, man. <laughs> you know exactly what it's called. <laughs> that nigga said you got a dog pen. What's the first? <laughs> <laughs> what was your first side <laughs> hustle? Yeah. Was cars your first side hustle? Mm -hmm. How'd you stumble into cars? Shit, um, I, I was a mechanic in the military, so I'd always. It was. It got to where like some people would ask me on the side, you know, when I got out, like, hey, can you help me fix this? Help me fix that. So that just became a little hustle. Like, All right, well, let me. You a mechanic, Nick? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Yeah, I can, I can Some know. shit. Which one of your closest partners? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know the nigga was a damn mechanic, nigga. I just thought you like weeding bitches. That's <laughs> One thing led to another. You know, I sold my first car, made a little profit off it. I said, all right, well, I can do this. So yeah. that shit, it, it's real easy. Yeah. You see a car, like it's a car I'm gonna pick up tomorrow, five hundred dollars. That car is worth like maybe three thousand dollars. The person thinks it needs a new engine. You just need a fucking tune up. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna tell you need a tune up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got two experts in here. I'm decent with flipping cars, and I did it in a minute, right? So it's a nigga watching. He's like, well, shit. All right, so, but how do I know if it's a car I should buy or not? You got to ask that. You shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. The, I mean, the, you got no Kelly Blue Book. You got to know what you can get, for, what the car can sell for on the street. Yeah. So right. if you buying a car and you're already looking at, okay, if the car's worth three and the Blue Book says it's worth two, you already lost. Yeah. Like, you already lost. So it's like, ain't no point buying that car. So if you're looking at a car like, like I'm looking at a car that I can get $500. It's probably going to cost me $300 to fix. Yeah. The car is worth three thousand Kelly Blue Book. Okay, well, shit, that's the easy win. Right. But, but even if it costs me a thousand, I'm still gonna win at the end of the day. Yeah. Right. It's, right. It's, it's two numbers we operate off of. It's the Kelly Blue Book, and then it's the street number. <coughs> exactly. Right. So when you want, when you're looking for street value, you just find three, four different avenues that 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 you know use car lots, offer up, let it go, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and just search those cars. That mm -hmm. same year, make and model. Pay attention to mileage and you know wear and tear on that motherfucker, and, mm. and, and you got a comparison right there. So those are the street God numbers. damn, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's you pissing in the studio. <laughs> 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 He said it was six months. You know what I mean? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, oh, shit. So when you buy a car that you plan on flipping, do you insure it? The time during the time. <clears throat> if I'm driving it, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like the car, every car you see me like driving is like, yeah, this, that's a flip. What that's if he's going to sit it? Do you still got to insure it? I mean, mm, by right. law, you're supposed to. you by uh, within the first 60 to 90 days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to be after you, but. Yeah, I, you know, those little flip shit, I ain't insuring nothing. Yeah, <laughs> if you get rid of it within... That's what I'm saying, two, like, if you just sit there, you want to get out of it. That's the only shit I'm talking about. If I know I ain't keeping it for, for over a month, yeah. I, ain't, I ain't wasting time. So, I got, so, I'm flip, so my first time flipping, I've been interested. When I buy a car, what do I have to make sure I have from the person that I'm buying it for before I give them my money? Pink slip. <laughs> Pink yeah, slip. You need that title. That's a receipt. Like a clean title. Or, or if it's not or, or clean. Or salvage, either one. Yeah, but you need the title to the car. The, the, the VIN on the title got a massive VIN on the car. Yeah. Because, yeah, there would be some bullshit out there. Yeah, yeah. Motherfucker give you a pink, pink slip to an Audi. It's an Audi that you're getting, but it's not the, It's not your Audi. I had a Nigeria. I had a question. Yeah. All right, so I know you said offer up and all these other websites. Do y'all put any kind of money marketing behind those to make it uh, for that's the advertisement? I, I buy the kind of shit that sell itself. Yeah. I don't even play with those new cars no more. The, like the newer cars, and I mean newer, I'm talking anything. 90s and up. I don't even fuck with that unless somebody give it to me. And I mean, give it to me. Give it to me is $500, $1,000. You give it to me, I'll take it. Other than that, yeah, I got a restoration company, so I build and restore cars. So, you know, those are 60s, 70s, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 1950s, whatever. So those cars, I insure. So if a, if a strong wind come and blow that motherfucker off a tow truck, you gotta pay me. You know what I'm saying? If I wake up in the morning, and somebody stole that 1967 Camaro because all you need is a goddamn uh, pack of chewing gum and Don't paper clip. Don't tell them how to <laughs> 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 He said, all right, niggas, I'll stay at 742 Blast Ave. You know, if you want to come get this the motherfucker. Still mine. My only rule is don't bring it back. <laughs> you know let, me, let me eat off that. Yeah, 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 don't bring it back, man. Don't go yeah. joyride my shit and, you know, eat that. 
that that dollar million shit you niggas be munching on. And, <laughs> <laughs> and that's what they do, real yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, Throw this yeah. in your How do you negotiate? How do you price it when somebody come and they want to buy a car that you flipping? Mm-hmm. How how how's the negotiation process? How do you get a motherfucker to give you what you want for the car? Shit, my price is my price, man. Don't come up here with no bullshit. We agree. <laughs> Before you get to my house or wherever we gonna meet, you you know what the price is. Ain't no. You can get there and try and, you know, all right, I'm, I'm going to get back in my car. I'm going to leave. I do that shit. I literally get back in my car. All right, all right, all right. We said 10000 Don't come at me talking about all I got is eight. Oh, that's okay. Cool. I'll go home. That's right. why I never go nowhere. I'm going to meet five seconds from my house because yeah. if you bullshit, I'm going to go right back to the crib. It ain't cost me nothing. Right. The niggas be trying, oh, come meet me over here. Nah, meet me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Vermont and Western. Or uh, Vermont and, 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 uh, and Man, Western. Man, we all niggas got crazy. I'm like, God, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm outside. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. 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 I'm, 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 I sell cars. We, we meet business. me on Vermont and fucking Rosequins. <laughs> the fuck you talk about, don't tell them. Nigga, meet me. Hey, <laughs> come get a car in Vermont and Rosequins. <laughs> the fuck? I'll let that nigga home, too. <laughs> If I would be able to get some bullets, yeah. <laughs> bullets come with the car too. You follow a nigga home. Fuck that. Follow, follow a nigga home, you're going to be in trouble. Exactly. You ain't going to have that car or the money you brought with you. <laughs> you're going to get robbed and die. Yeah. And, yeah. Die. and I get to keep the car. Yeah. 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 I still got the time. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but that's why I got into the classics, man, because I ain't playing that haggling game. You know, I got a, I got a 1968 Ford Thunderbird. Let a motherfucker tell me he ain't got what I want. You know, I, I don't give a fuck about that. Mm-hmm. Where you gonna go? You know what I'm saying? You gonna yeah. go to a Ford dealership? You go up there and tell him you want a '68 Thunderbird. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that nigga gonna say, he gonna look you dead in the eye and say, "Me too, motherfucker." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I can actually afford it. So where's it at? Uh-huh. Where is this blaze? You know what I right, mean? Right, right, right. Where is this blaze? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I gotta pay this guy. Y'all yeah, caught yeah, but you know, I said so you only fuck with white men then. <laughs> I, 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 it's a lot of brothers, man. It's it's a group called the Black Classics, man. They uh they do a car show. You know, it's COVID shit, fuck shit up. But uh, they meet on the east side, man, uh, uh, at the fire station in Watts. Okay. And uh, I ain't never seen so many brothers with the kind of cars that that, that a white man are pissing shit on himself because they got it. I mean, these are, I mean they got sweet shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking cherry. And 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 if y'all sweet know. Shit? I mean, you know, we, we all, we, we all, we all, we just got hungry. Sour, he was like, yeah. right, right, right. Yeah. He was eating out on the way in here. Yeah. 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 Sour booty. That's why the nigga mustache evaporated. I'm not the one who emphasized sweet shit. You actually, actually, you are. You did. Yeah, you got it. You are, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Hey, let me say something real quick, man. I'm going to take a minute out of this show to say something. Uh, my guy asked me earlier, he asked us a question. How many of y'all know the first friend that y'all ever made in your life? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I'm blessed to have two of them in the same room when we right now. Oh, yeah. So uh, one of them is having a birthday coming up, man. You, you know what I mean? Them it's them tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> It's all good, kid. It's all good, kid. Quick. <laughs> nah, man. Nah. But on some real shit, man, I want to give it a shout out, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take nine shots right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, go pass some cups but for real, yo. <laughs> yo, let's go yeah, ahead, yo, let's let's go ahead and uh, at the same time. yeah, let's let's go ahead and get these shots going, man. For my man Tht, he got a birthday coming up. <laughs> Give it up, man, for Craig Smith, man. Happy birthday! Yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Happy birthday uh, to myself. Is that an energy drink, nigga? Nigga, that's butt lube. Butt lube? Which one of y'all want? That's the KY right now. I'm not supposed to be taking that. That is hilarious. Drake, nigga, what you pointing for? What's going 
What is what is that? It's a TAC drink, right? I didn't open the show. I didn't even got this. Joe Hood's ready. Joe Hood's ready. We about to put that too. Yeah. <laughs> see, I, I, see, I ain't even about to get on your. See, Dozy, I wasn't even about to get on that Grace Jones fade you got, nigga. Uh, <laughs> you can't get a fade. I'm surprised you know what a fade is, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fuck? I wish I could have that. I wish I could have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Hey, me too. I'm like, hey, man, I was I'm just up here trying. I'm just up here trying shit. Can you? I can't. I'm just mad because you're abusing your. Hey, real. I'm just mad you're abusing like your y'all. privilege, man. Like That's I like it. I'm like, I'm up here just trash. <laughs> yeah, he can experiment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nigga, I can too, all around here, nigga. Yeah. Grow it back. Yeah. Grow it back. Yeah. Yeah. Grow it back. Yeah. Yeah. Grow it back. Yeah. 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 What you can do, you can get the bread yeah. around the side. You can get the Kimbo yeah. slice, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Get the Kimbo. Ain't nobody said nothing about Kimbo here. Have you ever heard about Kimbo? Nigga, you can fight like heavy. You should learn how to fight Now drink your own nah, shit, man. Man, man. Get one some one hair on your chest. Hit the like button, chat room, please. Hit the like button and share this motherfucker. Man, I just want to say, man, I, I, you know, I appreciate y'all niggas. I love y'all niggas, man. And uh, shit, man, I wouldn't be shit without y'all niggas, man. Let's go to the top. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It is what it does. Yeah, bro. Oh, yo, yeah. hey, yo, check, 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 but Quentin. Hey! hey! I'm a t- I'm, ah, I, hey, Brown, yeah. I got your toast, Brown. Ah, hi, man. No, 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 I want to say to the fans, I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all made this show great. You know, um, shit, man. Y'all gave us a voice. Yeah, Even when true. I was fucking with All Def and all that shit happened with me sticking up for Precious and all the <coughs> false information that was put out and niggas trying to control the narrative and blackball me from certain shit just for, just for standing up for the homegirl. Y'all support it, man. Y'all support means everything, man. And having your own fan base is something that's very hard to do. That's a fact. And without y'all, man, it wouldn't be possible to speak my mind, man. And please keep, please understand that some of the shit I be saying be fucking off opportunities for me. Yeah, that's real talk. You feel what I'm saying? And some motherfuckers who don't fuck with me, just based on shit I've said on the show, or just the fact that I'm on Corey's show, Sitting next to him, and I may not even have that opinion, but he may state it or whatever, and it fucks some shit off of me. But guess what? I fuck with y'all. I fuck with my niggas. I appreciate y'all being there for us. I want to grow bigger and better so we can travel all over this country, man, and 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 meet y'all. You know what I'm saying? So just know y'all support is definitely needed because this shit ain't easy to do. Real oh. shit. You know what I'm saying? It, co- it costs me more than it make me all day long. But 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 the camaraderie and just fucking with y'all and my niggas in this room mean everything for me f- to me, man. So appreciate the fans for y'all supporting the show, man. For real spin. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Also, yeah, man. So get the likes up, man. Yeah, get the likes, likes up. Like, we should like, be at a thousand likes. Birthday episode. Yeah, birthday likes and cheers. Two thousand likes, man. Get the likes up, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause this shit hard. Man. Remember when I had one? Thank you, Ray Johnson. Remember when I had a hundred followers? Man. J- JWFRO. We're, we're trying to get 100 niggas in the chat, bro. bro. We'll start with 75 and fucking 75. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. We'll start, nigga, you know, I, man, that's all kind of shit. I remember being out there in that truck when I was like, man, fuck comedy. I'm just about to, be, about to be out here getting this money. And you know who was calling me saying, nah, bro, you making a mistake, man? Dewan. Mm. Mm. Dewan was on my bumper, man, for about a year. When I was out there getting money in the truck, I was like, I was done with entertainment, man. This was some bullshit to me. That's what I, that's what I felt about it, you know. And uh, that nigga would talk to me at least once a week while I was on the road, man, checking on me, making sure I was straight, you know what I'm saying, and telling me, man, you got to do this, bro. Like, niggas are saying they like what you do, bro. You got to, you know what I mean? So it took about a year to talk me out of the truck and shit. Yeah, but, make, make a yeah. Shit. 
Minnesota somewhere, goddamn it, talking about dog parks. Uh, like, yeah. Random. Uh, <laughs> 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 like, 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 for the Mike people Jess, out there, for the people out there who think, you know, it, it ain't going to be you. I remember back in the day when Craig, like our friends who were in comedy, they were starting to get their shine and blow up. Craig would write the funniest shit on Facebook. And I'd be laughing my ass off and like three niggas would like it. Right. And, and that would be it. And then it would be other comics who weren't nearly as funny as this cat out there. They, they put up the sky is blue. 120,000 people right. retweeted yeah. it. Right. right. And so, but no, Craig kept believing in himself. So it's like where he is now. This motherfucker was putting himself out there be- before anybody else believed it. But it was years before right. niggas no. fucked with what I had to say. It was years, bro. Years. I'm telling you. So if you think that you're just starting off with some shit and you think you're this hell of a motherfucker and that what you got to say is this uh, magical thing that nobody's heard before and it's going to make you, that only happens to bitches. Yeah. <laughs> and it's normally when they got a nice body and a decent right. face. But for men, you have a responsibility to yourself not to cheat you. But nobody owes you nothing. 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 Okay. But the hard juggle is this in entertainment. This this is what weeds out a lot of dope niggas. Because you come from your regular life and you got an ego. I'm a nice looking nigga. I got a nice car. I got bitches. You know, all these things that mean something in the regular world. Mm -hmm. You come into entertainment and you think those things matter. Mm -hmm. Art is subjective. So regardless of how fly and dope you think you are, you have to pr- you have to put into the game a piece of artwork that the fans fuck with, and that's what solidifies you. Yeah. It's not how, it's not nothing else but what type of art are you putting into the atmosphere? Yeah. And it took a while for me to get to a space where I could put something that y'all fuck with into the air, and that's why I appreciate you so much. And if it's niggas like us out there, just realize, bro, if you dope, you've won most of the battle. But now. Now your character comes into play and how much you really believe in yourself. Because once you create some shit that's dope and you got to sit on it for a couple years, but you know it's better than anything else out there, are you going to talk yourself out of it because you're not getting what you want? Yeah, you're always your biggest hater. And before we get too much further, too, man, let's give a shout out to Dewan, man, because uh, yeah, man, shout out to Dewan, yeah, bro. Hey, good thing staying on that nigga, man, because sure. you know, like he said, if you didn't do that. He, pro- he probably wouldn't do this. Yeah, yeah I'll be in that truck, man. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. You got some coupon codes. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be in that truck. And yeah. hey, that little two grand a week was cool to me, nigga. Yeah, two, three yeah. grand a week. That was. Man. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, Craig Lyon. He was traveling working Chuck E. Cheese's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese bands all across the country. I got a show tonight in Minnesota. I got a show tonight in Minnesota. <laughs> And, sh- and shout out to Corey Holcomb because I him invited me on the show. I was on Fifty One Fifty for about three or four years before I did this show. Yeah, Corey Holcomb was all the brother. So he, he like he 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 the nigga show you through his actions. Right. He not gonna tell you hey this this this, but he just go if a motherfucker that's doing it lets you come around him, you gotta understand what that means. Yeah. It's like I'm giving you keys to watch how I do it so you could do it yourself. Right. It's not so you can take from that nigga right. or you know you know so you can come and watch because if you're not sharp enough to pick up on what's going on by just being around, then you don't need to be in this industry. Yeah. Cuz yeah, there's no, certain questions know. you can't even ask me till you get to a certain point. Yeah. Because you're not going to be able to understand the gaps between what you want and what it takes to get there. Yeah. You're going to think a nigga hating or you're going to think a nigga don't want. You know, you're going to think everything yeah. but you got to do the work. Man. That's true. You can't be an uncheckable nigga if you want to work for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. This shit a humble the fuck out. You supposed to say something? No, nah, no. Nah, you everything you said was uh. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, my yeah. my, my <laughs> lesson my lesson was Jade. Jade is one of my closest friends in the world. I met him doing stand up twelve years ago. Big yeah. Ja, yeah. ja, big Ja. Twelve years, going on thirteen years. That's yeah. my nigga. I thought you met that nigga throwing. Uh, Barrels, that super nah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a nigga that had the I was a nigga that had the money when I met Ja. I was a nigga that had the job, had the money. Ja was poor than a motherfucker. Not because he was a lazy nigga, no, because he was all in on this shit. All in. All in. I'm talking about the first nine years of our friendship, it wasn't going too well financially. You feel what I'm saying? And what I would do is I would work for a year, then jump back into this shit. Mm-hmm. Work for a year, then jump back into this shit. So since me and Ja have been friends, I've done that shit three times. Do this for a year and go back to work. Do this for a year and go back. The last time I did it, he bubbled. 
And I was like, wow. And I, I, I was, wow. And, and it, it was weird because the niggas that bubbled with him was niggas who wasn't there with us the first 10 years. Mm -hmm. So the fact that they was in the pocket with the nigga, they got a chance to benefit yeah. from what we had been doing 10 years before we met the niggas. Mm -hmm. But I'm in the truck. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I've been blessed to have somebody in my life who I've seen yeah. Get to the other side who really didn't have it. It ain't no made up story. The nigga ain't got no family in entertainment. Yeah, that's Nobody walked him to uh, to meet somebody. He didn't hook up with a Simmons or a Wayans or get validated by no previously existing brands. The nigga made himself. Real spit. Well, he put the work in and the people validated him. You feel what I'm saying? But it wasn't no audition that made him. It was a it was an it, it was an accumulation of work. Greatness is hard work abbreviated. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He he bubbled, so that let me know it's possible. But I, everybody ain't gonna be blessed to have somebody around them that has actually got to the other side. Yeah. So that's why you gotta have that belief in self to know it is possible. I'm telling you, it is possible. It's just you, are you willing to to, to keep at it? Right? And that's. Uh, I used to walk around. He used to always be Craig and Job walking to the comedy club. Looking like they ready to beat everybody ass up in there. <laughs> it was these two Eminem looking motherfuckers. And I remember when John made, when, when, like, when you got back in the truck. Why <laughs> 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 calling somebody an Eminem is hilarious. <laughs> Talking about the white rapper, he talking about two real M and M's. Nothing about a nigga gotta no. can be delicious. Okay, I can't, I don't, look, unless, I don't, listen. Unless it's food on the table, I don't want to hear a grown man say delicious. Uh, <laughs> it don't even matter. Y'all already drunk them roofies that off. <laughs> I already feel. I already feel. You know, wake up with your belt undone. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 Yo, you washing his hands? Like, why are you washing your hands? Give me my ready to go home. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you gonna see that nigga auto figure like he was asleep. They gonna be in the chair like this, smiling and shit. You smiling for it? You see where you see where their minds are at? You know, I mean, you gonna sit your ass down and use Safari security guard, nigga? Nigga looks like one of the village people. But like, he is though. He is though. But like. Young man, so he got his pockets cut out. You've got two. That's all right. Is that how, that, something like that. Nigga said, "Young man." Try to see who knew the song. He's like, "Follow me." Any nigga knew the words though. A nigga know the ad libs. Oh, I am a fool. It's a nigga. It's a nigga know the ad libs. Get that part. Get to that part. Yeah. You say. Nah, but like I would, I would see y'all all the time together. You know, grinding out there in the comedy grind. And and I remember around the time you got in the truck the first, Ja, you you saw Ja. Not be on stage as much, but he always had that camera. He right. always, Ja always had a camera in his hand. Right. And then you saw, you saw him like him going from, you know, being willing to film anything, anything, anytime you had a, anything that you were doing comedy wise, Ja was there to film. Yeah. And it was just a beautiful thing to see y'all tag team like that. You know what I mean? Because people always go around talking about black men, what black men can't do. Black men can't get together. We don't ever do this. We don't ever do that. I see these motherfuckers working in tandem all the time with one another and develop a synergy right. to get to where they got. Right. You know, doing what they say black men don't do. You know what I mean? So, yeah, both of y'all are an example of, you know, working together and getting to where you need to get to. Yeah, and man. That's what I, and that's what I was going to speak to, too. The same thing with Craig, because uh, I, remember, I remember basketball, Craig. 
I remember uh, rapping Craig. Yeah. You know what I mean? Me and Craig used to work at jobs together. We was doing yeah. push ups in between cars and shit like that. <laughs> and so, what I want to say is this nigga. Put on the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Vince, let, let, let him keep on. Let, let, let him on. <laughs> Hold on, nigga. I go to work after this. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, yeah. but this nigga didn't just get on Roast Me and just blow up like that. This nigga was in between cars writing jokes. I D, what. what you think about this? Now, I'm, I, look, I'm gonna talk about the, the. What'd you say? I remember he had the yeah. gangster, the, the blood, the blood, the gangster event. Oh, he was there when I wrote years it. Years ago, we was at the job. He writing, and telling me what you think about this. What, now we looking at skits years later. You know what I mean? So the same blueprint that that you that you watch Big Ja, I've been watching you do the same thing, bro. Yeah, and he gives the same effort. And no matter, like I said, basketball. You know what I mean? The full effort. Of, uh, what is it? Rapping. Rapping. Yeah. Full effort. You know what I'm saying? So and then on top of that. The stand-up uh, guy that he is, you know what I mean. I don't know if y'all yeah, seen him fast. outside of here. I didn't see this nigga breaking up fights. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't see him doing all kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? That, that niggas would be like, man, what is you even involved in that? I fool? seen a nigga push a security guard all the way to break up a fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, real you shit. Ain't doing that shit no more. Yeah. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga <laughs> causing <laughs> fights now, man, with all these jokes and shit. <laughs> one of these, I already know, man. I'm gonna punch one of these niggas, man, because 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 somebody ain't gonna be able to take a joke in one of these events we at, right? <laughs> Nah, but no, nah, like you said, though, no, nah, it's not right, though. Do the stand-up dude, bro. I remember I had my uh, radio station, a physical location and shit, bro. A what? A physical location. Thank you. You know? <laughs> uh, Black Eye, appreciate you, man. Thank you, bro. For real. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, you know, you say, we in this industry, bro, you meet a lot of people, bro, that tell you something and don't do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I have my physical location. And I, t I just tell people, when you work, a lot of people not going to see the work. They only going to see the come up. You know what I mean? So, like, even with Craig, he, he just saw the potential. He was like, yo, when I get my shit, I'm going to come back and get you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I was like, like, for me, it's like, I heard that shit before, but all right, for sure. That was, what, three, four years yeah, ago? Yeah, like three or four years ago, bro. Yeah, and then, you got you, huh? It kept, bro, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it was just like, it was genuine as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I ain't even mad at you, bro. That, that, shit, is, that shit is, uh, yeah, nigga, you got a, um, a ECW match after this, nigga. <laughs> 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 but nah, bro, I just uh, wanted to also say, like, uh, just because, like, a lot of people that's uh, gonna support you is your strangers, not your friends and your family, bro. That's so even, real shit. Yeah, 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 so, like, yeah. so like that shit might get discouraging because they not fucking with you, bro, because they only know you as you growing up, you in school and shit like that. I literally had to leave a lot of niggas behind just to find a new circle that was just as uh, motivated and ambitious as I was. Yeah. You got so, to find a new pack, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah gotcha. <laughs> nah, nah, he had to find a new sandbox. Yeah. But when a nigga look out for you, man, and, and, and like you said, it's mostly strangers and shit. Was it my nigga in the thriller jacket? Yeah. And a thriller jacket. <laughs> when, when, hey, when, 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 when niggas draft you to be on their team, man, and so we can all work out and get strong together, and we can go tackle whatever big challenge is in front of us, not for a nigga to, you know, hang out. And, Facts. Get get a couple of push ups yeah. and then go play a game by itself. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, exactly. We, we, we got to stick together, man, and, and, and until until it's big enough for us to turn this double X house into into eight medium houses. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, right, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. But nigga, up? jump yeah. off too fast. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Anyway, we appreciate this nigga, man. Hell yeah. Oh, I appreciate y'all, man. Hey, Demar Demar Jackson, what you got to say? Don't do early Michael. <laughs> <laughs> you doing wrong? This nigga early Michael and late Michael at the same time. Go early ahead, Michael. go ahead, say. No, no, no. Only thing I wanted to say: everybody knows he's super stand up, super authentic, and anybody that can have somebody like Todd. Only motherfucker I know that successfully built like Kermit the Frog. Fucking killer. Successfully. I'm just telling you, this motherfucker is special. Like where, where did you, where did you get the grandma couch jacket oh, from? Man. Why is that motherfucker making noise while you talk? <laughs> Oh man, hell yeah! That when you first like really was getting into it. That's when I first started learning the sketches. What was that like? Four what, about four like years 2016. ago. Damn. Minimum. Kobe was still. Twenty sixteen. Yeah, that's when I met him and Ja. I remember. Yeah, Ja was one of the only cats. Like we used to like. Like a whole bunch of like YouTubers and social media influencers to come to like houses in the valley and like in LA and shit like that. And it'd be like 30, 40 of us. 
shooting like sketches. One big ass house, and we everybody shooting sketches in all sides of the house, and just jumping in everybody else's shit, collaborating and shit. That's how I met him and John. Yeah. And Craig was just off top, was just one of the niggas. I remember walking in, and he was like mid sketch, and he was just funny the motherfucker. I, I never <laughs> seen him before. Yeah. And then uh, John was just one of them cats. Like there were certain people who came through and actually like was just trying to like soak up the knowledge of the energy and just jump in other people's shit. And then there was people that you saw actually like were like into their craft. They wrote the shit. They was directing the shit. They produced the motherfucker. They edited it. You know what I'm saying? Jaws was always one of them kind of cats. And it was just, I remember shooting with both of them like back in the day. Like, man, it's crazy. Steph been around. We made man. classics back in the shit. Man. You know, drop now, they're still fire. Yeah, we made some classics. Hey, Steph, can I, can I? Steph, if you wonder where your bitch at, she probably was Steph. <laughs> <laughs> Steph has all the ladies in LA. Doing whatever he wanted him to do, man. <laughs> he wanted them dudes. He he just do everything, man. But above that, he just he he just a star, man. You about to say something? Yeah, y'all did my comedy show. Remember my old comedy show? They did Asylum at the uh, Zen Lounge. Both so so that show. remember that story I told about how I, I didn't know how big roast me was, and I did a show, and a nigga came on stage, and I lost to it. A nigga roasted me, and everybody was. Mm -hmm. That was at his shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, no, it was you and Boo going neck and neck. No, but it was another, it was a random drunk nigga in the audience. <laughs> and it was a bunch of comics there. And com here's the thing about comics a lot of niggas don't know. You probably got to kind of uh, understand it for it now because you be promoting and niggas try to come to you to book shit. But comics be hating on other comics. I know, I know. D Ray told me niggas be stealing jokes, all kinds of Stealing stuff. jokes and like just <laughs> hating, just. I can't even explain it, but like if Blaze was a comedian, like the way these comic niggas are hated, if Blaze get booked for something, as soon as he walk away, somebody will say some ill shit like, you sure you want a rapist? But <laughs> 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 well, motherfucker, just, niggas just be saying we Blaze. No, he ain't that rap. No, I'm not saying he ain't rap. I'm saying. <laughs> that's the type of shit these comedian niggas be on. They be on some weird hater shit, man. It be all for the girls, bro. It be all for the girls. I be saying. I be saying. You put pussy and money in the mix, a nigga do what the fuck. Whatever. Like, you think about this, though. It happens all the time. How most wild animals die in a while? Say it again. How most, like, when hunters go, what do they do? Like, how do they die? How it go, show? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yes, that was you make me lose my point. How do they die though? They, they they usually have a horn or something that can make a mating call, and the nigga think he finna go get some uh, pussy. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so that's uh, usually, but that's why I be so on the on the broad thing on this show. You know what I'm saying? I've been like that since the beginning, right? That's a fact. Because I know some niggas who mo like. Three niggas I can think of off top, but it's more who one nigga's career is ruined and he didn't do what he was accused of. And the other two niggas were accused and it took them years. I'm talking years to get it back to where people either wasn't even thinking about it or it wasn't it wasn't a thing. So I'm very protective because the women in this industry are different than regular everyday women. They're trying to make it based on their looks. And a lot of them are willing to do what they have to do to make it. And if they do what they have to do, like fuck or whatever they think, and they don't get what they want, mm -hmm. then that's where the issues come into play in this right. business. Yeah. The false rape charges, the uh, sexual assault charges. So in entertainment women in particularly, I have a hyper focus on them and what their intentions are because I've seen it happen to many niggas. And if I let it happen to me, it's my fault. Straight yeah. up. We're not dealing with lawyers and doctors and right. uh, administrative right. assistants. These are women who move thousands of miles because they thought they looked good enough to make it off their beauty. Yeah. Right. And when you reject that, right. what you think coming next, nigga? These right. the bitches that be on the plane sitting backwards. <laughs> Rolling onto the seat, like why are they sitting like that? Niggas be selling. Dreams Only real niggas too. know about that. And niggas be selling. <laughs> niggas be selling dreams. Man, they be selling dreams, and I know of a few niggas. We both, we know a few. Selling dreams, bro. I know of a nigga. I ain't gonna say his name. Don't say it. Don't say it. It's your birthday. Cause, 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 cause he's not a bad dude. But I remember I had a broad come out here. This is about three years ago. She stayed, slept in my bed next to me for two weeks, right? <laughs> Yeah, two weeks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was leaving it in. Yeah, yeah, to everybody yeah. else in the world, uh, <laughs> to everybody else in the world, but this is how cold, this is how cold bitches are. Everybody thinks she a lesbian. Oh. 
<laughs> but she slept in the bed with me for two weeks. Oh, well, that's definitely not. A but to the outward world, <laughs> come on, my nigga. So <laughs> to the outward, friends <laughs> This is a bad bitch. This is a bad bitch, though. But this is a bitch who's willing not to be herself publicly to get what get she wants because she's aware that she's a bad bitch and she has to make it seem like she's ungettable, ungettable so yeah, she yeah. can try to accomplish her dream. So she's already willing to lie about who she is to get what she wants. So that's step one. So I took the broad to the sketch house she's talking about. Right. I took the broad to the sketch house. Right. I dropped her off. Cause it's pimping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the bitch already got instructions. Right, straight up. You feel what I'm saying? I dropped her off, right? So she networking with niggas and doing what she do. She want to be a star. <laughs> I did. Damn. In a major motherfucking way. That's what I'm saying, man. Niggas don't even. It's a whole nother side to what I be doing that niggas don't know about. But I put the bitch on, right? She, she, she fucking with niggas or whatever. But there's one particular nigga. And he books bitches to do certain things, right? Oh, no. So she gave her number to multiple niggas in the house, mm. like she was supposed to. And one of the, I got her cell phone, by the way. Oh, of so she got oh a, my uh, goodness. Right. Who else would have it? So niggas start hitting her. As, All right. yeah. as, as they should. Yeah. Yeah. Right. She a bad bitch, she cool people. Into your so one of the niggas hit like, I can book you for videos. So I respond as her, as her. Oh yeah, that's cool. Book me for a video. He said. He said. But first, I need. I need because the director. Yeah. The director wants uh, pictures. So I need you to send me a picture of you in a bikini. Uh-huh. You feel what I'm saying? So I said, Oh, for sure. I'll send you a picture of me in a bikini. So I say, Hey, bitch, uh, put a bikini on. <laughs> Take a picture of her in a bikini. Send it to the nigga. <laughs> he responds, oh, that's a nice picture, but the director wants to see a little bit less clothing. Oh, man. The director got to see for, a nipple. For, for, yeah. They got to see a nipple. Ain't no way you can see a nipple. pussy. For a music video. Nigga, they want to see nice clothing. So I say, oh, really? Okay. Well, uh, give me a few minutes to put that together. <laughs> so I talked to the bitch. I said, look, I think we, we want to get this video. <laughs> At this point, Take your shirt off. Yeah, see his titties. Yeah. <laughs> Bam! Send the picture. Okay. He's like, oh, that's cool, but the director wants to see less clothing than that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Bitch, take your pants off. Send the picture. The director wants his dick sucked. <laughs> 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 what I'm saying is this. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga Tom Bithrys. That seems like a natural progression. Right? But what I'm saying is this. That'd be one of my balls. Yeah. It's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> this broad traveled thousands of miles to be a star. Mm-hmm. And she kept having to do more shit she wanted to do because she was chasing something outside of herself. Exactly. If your dream is outside of who you are and what you do, you're going to be naked and embarrassed one day mm, because yeah. you're going to be willing to, to do too much to compromise yourself to get what you want. Yeah, what's the limit? You feel what I'm saying? And that's just a microcosm of multiple things I've seen happen in this industry. You know what I'm saying? Which is why this show is so important. Man, you know what I mean? Because, because, really? Go ahead. Oh, I'm just going to say the one for this nigga. I'd be talking shit, swallowing spit and some all part of the world, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, that nigga that's a grown ass, ass man. That is COVID. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, hey, that nigga. What's your hair? You had to know. Yeah, that, 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 that wasn't going to land well. That wasn't going to land well amongst us. Come on. Do you still keep You know your audience, my nigga. Do you still keep your hair in the scorchy when you do it? That's my fault for being a player. My nigga don't wear a scorchy. That's only a late talk, right? I mean, so, 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 where I'm from, we don't say words like uh, pause and break because grown man mind don't go places. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so when a nigga say, Sounds good. That's still COVID. Right now, that's not good to do right now. That's all I'm saying. When one of my niggas say he had a long day, I know, I know his bag is full of money. So, I, so we don't do the Paul shit and no gay shit come to my mind. And, uh, I'm with you, Blaine. You know what I'm saying? I'm with you, Blaine. 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 I'm with you,
Yeah, we we here. I'm open and I'm gonna answer questions. I'm gonna get up for this game. I'm gonna chop it up. He you crying know, underneath the shades. I don't gonna be one of my first cases, so y'all watch it. Y'all know him before me. Y'all watch this shit. Wait, wait till a couple of years with me. Y'all watch Auto Game Change. You know, I'm gonna have to for that today. Because I like the day, so we gonna get him right, but. Yeah, we're going we gonna to do a bunch of shit, man. You know, Hell yeah, we on our yeah. way, fellas. Shout out to Craig, man. We on our way, Shout fellas. Out. Hey, Shout out to Craig, let man. me just say, man, I, I I knew Craig for a long ass time, man. Um, is this nigga going to do this? What, you, what, you, you dying up? This is my birthday. It's his birthday. Right there, man. We can't give a nigga this. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. All right, so. Uh, sensitive. Knew, knew this nigga. Knew this nigga for a long time, man. He was the, the, the little nigga hanging out with me and Snaps at the church. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, that's what he was? What? Yeah, he was like we got we got to bring Pac Man with us. Like, all yeah, right, man, cool. you know what I'm saying? So that was him. And then um, <laughs> That's crazy. years later, man, when Roast Me started, you know what I'm saying? He was telling me he called me up like, nigga, you you got bags, man. You be bagging on niggas, man. There's a show that you should be on, nigga. Roast Me, come down here. And me like an idiot, like, well, I gotta go to work today. Yeah, you so did. you know, you did. <laughs> I'll be down there after the show, after the shoot. So I went down there after the shoot, and they was done. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was juiced about the Roast Me shit. Was great. This nigga told everybody I was his brother. Like, this is my brother, man. Y'all got to put this nigga on. Patrick, yeah. all them niggas. Like, oh, you crazy, brother? We got a spot for you. Yeah. They never fucked with me. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. They yeah, don't yeah, fuck yeah, with yeah, me yeah, no more. Yeah. But, but we back now. You know, you Craig came back for a nigga. Way. You know what I'm saying? The goofy retarded brother. Yeah. I would have roasted all of them niggas on that show, but that's cool. You would have? Yeah, hell yeah. You crazy? That would have been it was great. There. It was out, it was out there. there. Todd, Todd, tell them some good news, though. You will be referee in the Super Bowl. I forgot what that had. We got a block in the back. I like the pre of strike. Yeah, you know, no way to it. Swing on you. Yo, Craig, on another note. Oh, you think going to be a swing. What? Hey, yo, Craig, on another note, didn't you just get booked for a TV show or something, man? What's up with that? Oh, yeah, some shit came yeah. through and shit. I, yeah. I, see, some, uh, I see some people I know posting that shit. Oh, really? Congrats, bro. Congrats. Oh, yeah, appreciate it, man. Don't play on nigga. What's up? What's up? Don't play on nigga boyfriend. Don't play on all cool and shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell us shit. It's a little, it's a little, it's a little TV show. It's a little, uh, little pilot. Little uh, pilot. It's a nigga neck a little bit. <laughs> That nigga having a that nigga having a Pinocchio biopic, nigga. Oh. <laughs> It's a biopic, nigga. Your mouth. You don't know what my nigga Ty got the lead in Tyler Perry presents the story of Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird. Why does my nigga sound like a newscaster? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, today we have I the Cloudy on the West. Tweety with the quiet storm joke. Yeah. Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird. Bird. It's in the building. Nigga got on a Thriller yeah. practice jacket. Yeah. <laughs> Taj is mad because everybody right. found out his favorite rap group was O Town 357. O Town. <laughs> Damn, no <laughs> shit. That nigga sound like he in a five heartbeats when he deliver a joke, my nigga. Hey, your, your mouth look like the inside of a biopsy. <laughs> Your mouth look like the inside of ass surgery. Yeah. Your mouth look like ass surgery. Hey, <laughs> that jacket, hey, that jacket was a uh, nigga stupid. Oh, 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 oh shit! Your jacket was once your grandma's tablecloth. It's not a jacket; it's a sweater. <laughs> Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, I appreciate y'all giving me props, man. That's a mess. That shit cool as fuck, man. But back to the back to the shit, man. Uh. Hey, but like, honestly, one more, that's one last thing I gotta say about this. Go ahead, go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Get the motherfucker rose. As long as been said about Craig, I want y'all, everybody out there to know that he's also one of the sorriest ass niggas I know. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. I mean, y'all think, like, y'all be hearing this nigga's jokes and think he ain't shit. Nigga, in real life, this nigga Craig is sorry as hell. <laughs> just, 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 I want y'all to know that. Nigga, sorry. <laughs> Craig is as advertised. Before I met you, I thought you was a 
Oh, I was like, this is wild as fuck. And then I get on the show, I'm like, oh, this nigga is, oh, he, this is him. This is him. And like you know, having a conversation with you sometimes, yeah. like, God damn, Craig, can we talk, man? Like, yeah. <laughs> Every time, <laughs> like, hey, tell them niggas about how we went to with that David Buster's. Uh -huh. Yeah, David, we sitting at the bar. This nigga passing nigga a note. <laughs> oh. That was funny. <laughs> so it was a nigga Excuse I knew. No, <laughs> look, it was a nigga. It was a nigga that I knew that didn't see me. He was with his girl. He didn't know I was there. He didn't see me. So I wrote on a note, uh, I'm gonna kill you, nigger. <laughs> And I had the waiter give it to him. Yeah! Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! 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 Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! That is hilarious. Wow. Wow. What? That is funny. I got right. tears coming down my eyes, hey, nigga. That nigga, that nigga, that nigga didn't see me for about 15 minutes. That nigga was just looking around. around. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 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 hey, it was really funny. <laughs> Hey, hey, the nigga with his girl though, so that you know nigga really have to like nigga. He started rapping the bill up and shit. That was crazy. 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 <laughs> I can't digest my steak after reading some shit like that. <laughs> and you, and you gave it to me? No, no, no. It's a lawsuit. No, no, no. Yeah, drove here, man. This shit ain't right. Yeah. 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 What's wrong with that dessert? Hey, we should have been Blazing Busters, nigga. He didn't think to ask the, the person who hey, you know, gave you this? I mean, shit, I couldn't shit. hear what he was saying. <laughs> it was right there. I'm gonna kill you. I was, I was nah, there. He wasn't there. there. Oh. I don't remember that. I'm gonna kill you? Like, that means just going was, down. Like, nigga, that was my nigga a... Billy Paul that was with him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yo, that is funny. <laughs> and the waiter gave it to him too. It feel like a fucking hit that's is gonna like be on your ass. Yeah, that's some yeah. movie I'm shit. The waiter back up. You had to get hit with a silencer, nigga. Who the fuck gave it? Hey, where is he? Ain't one sauce off my mustache with that motherfucking. But like, hey, man. Now that nigga didn't get served yet. Oh. He didn't work. No, that nigga sitting right on the drink. Wait patiently. That way, she gonna be here. Don't worry about it. Nigga still finish his meal. Todd, what you got for us? <laughs> oh shit. Tell us what you got for us, Todd. Tell us what we got. Let me tell Monte Ellis what we got for him. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason. Hey, if it wasn't for him, it wouldn't be no Steph Curry. That's right. Huh? Paved the way. Huh? No, I'm saying they got rid of that nigga. He could have been like, I want to I, I stay here. He had a guaranteed contract. He ain't going nowhere. <clears throat> Get rid of him. No, but they, they didn't have to play say, him. He's, he had to agree with that, nigga. They didn't, didn't have to, they didn't, they didn't have to play him. They didn't, he didn't have to play that. No, nigga. they didn't have to play that. You ain't finished. That nigga paying that nigga way too much money to see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you got this stud over here. You got Steph Curry, which you, who, is, who is obviously better. Nigga, I'm not going to say Monte, sit your ass down. He was fresh. Yeah, obviously, this nigga 25 million years. He's not sitting Monte was cold, though. Monte, Monte, Monte was cold. Was cold but but he, Steph but was better. Steph was way better. Steph was better. We knew Steph was better off the rip. Of course. Very first off the year. I'm saying how much they paying a nigga, you're going to win. I knew Monte was on his way out. That was Jerry West. Jerry West said, oh. He ain't going to make it. He did have something to do with that. Jerry West should find Tay out to give Steph a space to develop. He should be coming off the bench. The way he played was. I'm sorry, go ahead, man. There's nowhere that he fit. You ain't no Monte ever. Sound like you ain't no Monte. Nah, nigga nah, nah, Monte he, was nice. he was nice. He was nice. He was nice. But he had that little wheel. He was a type. premature baby. He had, all type he had shit. a little yeah. wheel. I don't like that shit. Ship. I don't like he that can shit. score, he but fire. he ain't really a team basketball type of. Uh, he didn't have no position. Russell Westbrook. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No you can't win with that. No, 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 no can't win with that player. Yes, you can. All right, man. So Brian Flores, man, the former coach of the Miami Dolphins has got a lawsuit against the NFL Yeah, yeah, he, for systematic racism. Mm. Um, they incentivized tanking. You know what I mean? They paid him. They was offering to pay him $100,000 for every game that he would lose in 2019. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is one of the reasons why you've seen the turnaround in the Dolphins. We talked about it earlier on the show. Not earlier on this show, but before. Um, the Dolphins started having that seven-game winning streak. They wanted him to lose, and he wanted to win. Um, so he's going to file a lawsuit against the NFL, risking his career to take to take that stand to say that this is not going to happen to any other people. He got a bullshit interview with the Giants in Denver, you know, because with the Rooney Rule, you have to just interview 
um, a black coach. You don't got to hire him. How right. did he find out? How did he find out that he wasn't getting hired though for the next text message? Uh, text message from uh, Bill Belichick. What did he say? He, he said, "Congratulations, so that <laughs> <laughs> you got the job." But he was talking to the wrong Brian. <laughs> Some old nigga yeah. shit. Like, yeah, good shit, Brian. Yeah, yeah. good shit, Brian. You got hey, it. Man. Yeah. Bill See that? Text, that, that yeah. wrong text. Yeah. Bill put the whole yeah. NFL yeah. in the wrist. Yeah. Yeah. See, I knew that. Text me weird, man. See, I knew you that. You ever get the you wrong text? What? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. An oh, important yeah. text? Oh, not oh, important, yeah. but just... You want to respond like, damn, nigga, say me, but damn. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, when you send one... You're sending like, wrong text. Yeah. Oh, I've done fuck. that a lot. Oh, y'all send God, all, that all the time. All the time. All the time. I send to people. Sometimes it'd be some whatever, but it, like, then it'd be some times where it's like, it's like this, like, damn, I, I fucked up. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I fucked up. That's why I don't do yeah. the heavy pussy talk on text. You can't. Man. You can't. I did that shit one time, sent the wrong email. <laughs> we know, no. I, said, no. I did that shit one time, sent the wrong email to my uh, to my guidance counselor in film school. What did he say? What did he no, say? No, it was a girl. No, no, I will not have sex with you, Todd. It was a it was a woman. I've been wearing it ever since. It was a it was a woman. But but the, but I was very graphic. I was talking about getting out here and running red lights and everything else. Like when I get over there today, it's going down. Yeah, I was talking crazy. But I said I sent it and I accidentally sent it to her instead of. To my woman. So you admitted to traffic violations. Yeah. Checks. Oh, and so God. she stopped being my counselor. I don't like she, that. Yeah, she was not. I'm not trying to hear that that was the wrong. You sent it to the wrong person. You tried it, bro. And no, I'm not out there. Really? Yeah. Hold on, Flag. After review, um, we agree that there's no foul on the play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, you, so like you, sent a, you sent a, <laughs> you sent a text to your guidance counselor about yeah. fucking her on her period. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this but it short. wasn't it wasn't supposed to be to her. It was she to my woman yeah. who was on her period. You, you yeah, anyway. you be fucking bitches on their period. Yeah. On period. Yeah. My, my, right, no, right, not right, no more. Right, not no more. Not no more. I did it. Y'all nasty ass niggas. Y'all better smack it up. Stop it. You need to start quitting that motherfucker. I know y'all. Y'all need to grow the fuck up. Right. Y'all need to grow the fuck up. Hell, I never hit a woman on your period. I run through red lights all the time. So you agree? Y'all some nasty. In my car. In my car. In my bed. Nigga, what you mean? Nigga, in your car. Red light bed. Yes. Red light. Nigga. And that was a long time ago. Get it off. Let the two weird niggas get it off. Oh, you not out there, Craig? You not out there? I, I ran them, but I don't do it all the time. Yeah. 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 I was talking about one email. Okay. Nigga. I'm I'm about like, this is that, let a girl tell me I'm on my pair of so? This nigga got a red <laughs> towel <laughs> cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you said no. You say you're in pit house shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. Exactly. Exactly. All right, that nigga. All right, a bitch be a bitch be off her period. Yeah, hang up on the bitch. Yeah, yeah. Bitch be off her period. You punch her in the pussy. Is he bleeding now, bitch? Trying to drop that uterus line in again, bitch. Huh? <laughs> Yeah. White green? This nigga got reserve <laughs> tampon in the car. I need y'all to grow the right fuck up. You <laughs> I need y'all to grow the fuck up. I ain't gonna lie, though. These are organic. Fuck? These are organic. Don't key, though. The fuck? Yeah. Your pussy be fucked. Fuck you, boy. Stop playing with me. That shit smell like pussy. No, no. Period pussy like smell like penny. Like the pool up in there with that. Oh, oh, oh my god, nigga. Nah, yeah. Blood is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. What's that yeah. fire? What's that shit dry? Hold on, hold on. Let me give you one more. Let me give you one more. Let's give you one more. I need to go up. That shit do be look. That shit do. Hey. I think my dick is a vampire. I think my dick is a vampire. It do be good. But once that blood dry up, nigga. <laughs> then what you do? How you not gonna let it dry up? No, you're supposed to go to sleep after that. You gotta get to No, no, I'm talking about anything. Too many niggas talking. One at a time, one at a time. Go, go ahead. Talk about I'm done. <laughs> you said what's that blood dry up? You said what's the blood dry up? Like you, you supposed to? Like you, yeah, you're not supposed to just lay there and get crunchy, bro. You gotta <laughs> take care of that. The blood dry up. Yeah. Okay, what's the right way? What is the right way, though? Since you do it all the time. <laughs> Good time. <laughs> to hit oh, period pussy. You gotta put something down in that bed. 
said yeah. simply. Yeah, that's back. simply. That you, gotta, you, gotta you, gotta you can't be fucking red right. pussy on the fucking Grandma on the couch bed. cover got to go on your bed. I'm bed. saying, yeah. yeah. But yeah, the towel ain't going to work because it's just a single <laughs> towel. God damn. Right. See, damn. Boy, this oh, nigga we got a lady in the house. He's joking. We got a lady in the house. This nigga a beast. Quiet, go, quiet. Ain't flag on the play. She ain't doing it. She's awesome. Okay, let me ask you that. Let me ask you the question that I know me and Blaze one. No, 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 pussy. That's, that's what okay, you eating pussy? No, no, pussy. no, no, no. <laughs> not out there. I'm not out there. I'm not out there. I'm not out there. I knew you were going to say. Ain't nobody eating. No, 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 no period pussy. On the camera, does Brown see me? No, I'm not out there. No. I'm not out there. Don't even ask me that. Yeah, you got that right. I'm disgusting. Yeah, that's crucial. No. You refuse. You refuse? Yeah, I refuse. Hey, when a nigga that hard up a muscle. Automatic no. pussy use. Uh, you don't need that. Those subject to a that's few what things. I'm no. Oh, no. no, I tell you, I've never lied. I don't lie. I ain't lied about shit about none of them. I think they're worse than eating some pussy. Like, right, right. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, hey, no, worry about bloody pussy. What? No, no. Y'all, y'all know what the fuck. Come on, we talked about me. Come on, come on. Who's that? The fuck? The ass. The fuck? I, I, I don't have to lie ass. about this. Huh? At, that had the runs. Uh, no, 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 no. no. Fresh out the shower. Talking about runs. I would never talk to you about runs. Fresh out the shower. Like, He's already eating ass, though. Y'all niggas already eating ass. Yeah, it's not done. The police don't got to be washed. Why would he act just like that? At least Dozy got consistency. Booty got to be washed before I get that. I'm tired of this. I'm weird. Yeah, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. I'm backwards, nigga. Where's the thing? If we talk about consumption, right? Because niggas eat ass, right? Anybody consume ass? No ass. I ain't consumed ass. Ass, uh, ever. A ass in a regular, a ass in regular in this regular state is not cleaner than an ass with the runs. Because well, the runs is more liquidy. Shut up! Yeah, man. No, no. You got a point. It's no. easier to clean. Smell, no, no. This is shit is thick, nigga, and thorough. You don't know. <laughs> you remember not time we got the runs and you wipe it, it just be like a little, and it's gone. <laughs> the doodle don't But when you stick. doodle, nigga, Never sometimes trust that wipe. Don't trust that you're using semi-wet wipes. You have to make And you, you have flipping it. Wipes. I know you niggas flip the wet wipe, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you can flip. Seven to eight wet wipes. Seven to eight wipes. You, you, you wipe too early. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you have one more push in you, nigga. <laughs> Is the max. Thank you. Yeah. What kind of nigga using some paper towel size wet wipes? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Three wet wipes. That's it. Always three. That's it. I've never seen three. That nigga. And that nigga. And that nigga auto scoot across the carpet. <laughs> 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 you said, so you said three, three wet three wipes. <laughs> three is the max. The yeah, max? Now. Ain't no oh, max. Yeah. Ain't no fucking max. The max is when it's gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. This nigga said max. That nigga said, I'm that nigga got a three wipe minimum. Man. I'm with you. I got three. I closed that bitch. I ain't even grabbing all three, right? I mean, I am going eventually to grab it, so I might as well cut it. Hey, listen. Hey, listen, listen. Go, go, go. go. Explain how you wipe your ass. Because that's what they got you doing. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm trying to stop you, nigga. You look like ass. <laughs> <laughs> Granddaddy, what you got on? Don't worry about it. Shatas over here. Man. I got shatas. <laughs> Bum a clock boy. Nigga. <laughs> My nigga Blaze, go ahead, man. Go ahead. There ain't no way you, and ain't no way you fully clean with three scores. No, no. Nah. no. Talk about Max. If you throw your bleach, I'm talking about Adam. I'm trying to stop. Let him get out. Let him go. Yeah, you probably use toilet paper, but then you could. That first wipe is to get the cleanup. No. That second one should be clean. Right. But that third one, man, I just gotta see it again. You know what I'm saying? Toilet paper don't work. Uh, the third no, one, I waste. Not. Nigga, wet wipes are nothing. Oh, just, I just use a. I'll use regular toilet paper after I wet wipe myself no, to make sure. I use 
toilet. Paper. Toilet. 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 toilet paper. I didn't use it. Toilet paper don't work. You use toilet yeah, paper to do the heavy. Nah, he, he like uh, nigga. What's wrong? Yeah. That nigga said I just used the dreads for the rest of this shit. I'm watching my ass. You know what I'm saying? All the toilet paper gets smeared as shit everywhere. That's all it does. Don't show any how it's going to go nowhere. Yeah. Fucking with toilet paper. You'll sit on that's the what, toilet and it'll be the little fact. shit streaks at the back of the toilet where your ass is. <laughs> How far <laughs> is you sitting on the toilet? Toilet nigga, paper don't work, nigga. Well, look, you gotta use water, nigga. Nigga's all the way at the back of the toilet. Well, what the the back room where your ass, the top uh, of your ass is. Dookie dust? Wait, wait. I don't know. No, I've never had no stains on the back of that. That's why. 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 I need to be in the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Hole in the bowl, nigga. The major, the problem is. Busting through the wipes. Nah, but the problem is everybody's What's shitting. What's the problem, man? Niggas is shitting wrong. Yeah, yeah, niggas, you gotta be squatting. You, you gotta smell the paper. paper. No, we, we gotta listen to the ass master. Let ass, it ass, ass master, ass nigga. Shit Yo, shit should have a deeper squat. If it's a deeper squat, you the squat on your toilet. Oh, oh, I got a squatty potty. Oh no! Check it out. Google. I seen that. That's I don't sit on no potty. I'm a grown ass man. It's for your feet. It's for your feet. True story. You got a potty? No, but I'm saying anytime if you. Yo. If you're Yo. in a deep squat, the <laughs> shit comes out <laughs> straight clean and it cuts off like a, how animal shit. Hey, you don't see, you ain't never seen an animal in the woods wipe no. their ass? They Ever. don't care. They do. They don't. Animals, animals also stink though. Right. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> this nigga <laughs> going off of animals? You said no. You said no. Wait, wait, wait. Squat though. Animal deodorant exists. Exactly. Humans yeah, stink sometimes too. The same way a woman is supposed to have a baby is how you're supposed to shit. Exactly. Women are supposed to be standing up and squatting when they have a baby. That's it, man. This, you're supposed to elevate like your knees. Okay. That's, that's it. That's all you got to do. That's why. That's, that's, no, that's, that's just a gas party thing. Nigga, elevate your knees. Well, no, because look. But I'm saying the only reason you elevate your knees because you're adapting to already using a toilet seat. The toilet seat is already. Talking about the Miami Dolphins. Don't talk about that. Fuck it, I'm like, what? I tried to stop this shit long time ago. That's crack back. No, no. Since this shit was coming. Systematic racism. I thought, but niggas don't care about that. Systematic racism. But y'all niggas want to talk about Blaze and his three guaranteed wipes. That shit wild. You. I don't to tell me how. I mean, I got to stop you. 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 I got to <laughs> I've been venomized. Go ahead. That nigga show spit on you? <laughs> venomized. Venomized? Yeah, you're a bad partner, nigga. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. This nigga's one of the, this nigga's one of the undead. Yeah. Oh, shit. My whole life has changed. This nigga's a white walker now. Oh, my God. <laughs> So play me. This nigga hate Jon Snow now. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, man, got crazy in here. Yo. You ain't got no napkins, too. You got to put some alcohol on that shit, right? That nigga trying to move you up with the... Uh, nah, nigga, you out here. Uh, you talking shit. Let's get up. Let's get COVID test swab on my arm. What the fuck? Backwards time. Backwards time. What's your second shit, bro? Well, backwards time. Anyway, so yeah, anyway, systematic racism. You know, Rooney rule and shit like that. So he's going to sue the NFL. Or attempt to and see what happens. You should sue him. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. So you gonna sue the NFL? Yeah, he's a, he's attempting to sue. You don't believe it, do I? Damn. No, I believe it. No, I, I, but I don't say this. This, this is this the same uh, Flores uh, that trolled uh, Kenny Stills in the locker room after he protested Jay Z. Yeah, this, that's the same oh, coach yeah. that no, when, when, when the guy said when, when one of his players were mad at Jay Z for crossing the picket line. He played Jay Z the rest of the season to troll him. You like Jay Z? You still gonna hate Jay Z? <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. We're not gonna say something bad. You just playing some Jay Z songs? Jay Z that nigga, bro. Come on. So I can't play Jay Z in the locker room. So some of the dumb motherfuckers out there hate Jay Z. For everybody else, this is what this is what something that he did. Like no, he he did it. He did it to troll his player. Yes, but I'm like Jay Z. Coaches do it all the time, bro. Who we like. I don't know. Look, you niggas is gay as fuck. Where my people like? I can't play hoes. I can't 
can't play Hove? I know. I don't care. Like if I know you don't like Hove and you, I, I don't care. <laughs> like, you, no, no, I'm, I'm, which I don't have no third of one fucking game. We're talking about you. We're talking about this situation. We're talking about this situation, right? I'm just giving a different, a different aspect. Let's say uh, I, I've been telling you to come in and play and come in and play. So now you finally come in and play and uh, you mad at, at, at Hope for that shit. Yeah, I might, I might fuck with you. I'm going to play some more. Especially if that's, like, that's my favorite rapper. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to play some more. I don't know if it's his favorite rapper. I'm not going to play anything in there. I don't know. I don't know if it is. <laughs> 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 never, never mind. Never mind the one. Never mind the one. Never mind the one. Never mind the one. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Jesus Christ. He trolled, he trolled a player. Over the whole bo boycott. I'm saying is he, he trolled a player over the whole boycott thing. Because that's what the whole thing was about, the boycott. Now that racism is hit him in the face, yeah. he wants to say, everybody come come support me because it's racism. Yeah. That's basically what's going on. Yeah, I thought you'd be on his side, Dewan. I thought no, you'd no, really no, be no, fucking no, with him. I heard that Jay-Z. Oh, man. Because nope. nope. a lot of the narrative <laughs> is that is that he's the, uh, the angry, uncontrollable black coach instead of if he was white, he would have been the passionate coach trying to get the most out of his players. Right. You know what I'm saying? When he's on the sidelines, they're saying shit like that. It goes into about uh, tanking, how tanking is a real thing. Even in the NBA, Mark, uh, Mark Cuban came out and said, we would tank. But I, you can't just come out and say we're going to tank. What I would say as the owner is I want to see the young players. <clears throat> Put the young players out there. And, of course, they're going to they gonna lose because they ain't got the experience, mm -hmm. but you're really tanking. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the – and he says that by the end of the season, you'll kind of have a – you'll kind of gel together with that tanking young squad and be ready for the next season when you get your high picks. But you know what I was thinking, though? I think the other thing with that is if you tank, you suck. And they fire you when they when you suck. And that's what happened now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. so I, yeah I think that's real fucked up. Cause how many how many black coaches is it already? It's only what one in the NFL right now. <coughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So that's that's fucked but up. But strategy. Yeah, it's, one. yeah, it's, it's, one. it's ugly. From Pittsburgh. Yeah. yeah. Maybe one or maybe two. Maybe two. I just got one thing. Look, the NFL told everybody where it stands when it comes to race back in 2016. Niggas said, okay, I'm gonna participate regardless. So motherfucker, nigga, what you crying for? You 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 took the you took the bargain. They told you exactly what the fuck it was. That's what. When yeah, I was Dr. Dre fight performing every fight. at the Super Bowl, my nigga. Dr. Yeah. Dr. Dre performing. That yeah. means it ain't racist. They racist somewhere. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Right. Snoop Dogg over there. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get mad. I don't get mad at white folks for being racist. If you show me racist, you racist. I'm not gonna. What, what the fuck is niggas crying about it, racism yeah. for? I love it. If they told you exactly what the fuck it is, and you said yes, <clears> you could have said no back in 2016. You said yeah. I don't give a fuck about racism. That's Kaepernick's problem. All right, cool. Now it's your turn. So just take it away. Well, coaches are still management, so they're never on the side of players, That's black right. or white. You feel what I'm saying? Right. They're in a totally different union. It, they, their politics are different. You know what I'm saying? They can hire and fire. Players can't hire and fire. Mm -hmm. And the owners are supposed to protect the interest. I mean, the players are supposed to protect the interests of the owners. And that's just the way the pecking order works in professional sports. So I can't expect him to take a political stance that's black above his uh, his career stance. You feel what I'm saying? He's not gonna risk it all for us. He's not. That's not. That's not what he was. You understand what I'm saying? No, I agree. That with ain't that. his responsibility. I, and I don't. I don't. It isn't his responsibility. And I don't think he should do anything he shouldn't want to do. Right. I'm not. I don't. I'm not here to tell people what they should and shouldn't do in any situation. But once you prove what your actions, what your stance is, I can show my actions that I don't give a fuck about what about your fight. Like if, if that's your fight, that's your fight. I'm not gonna say nothing to stop your fight. I'm not gonna support you. What if it's because this is about you? This isn't about us. This is about your pocket. What if what if his what if his plight is for about more than just himself? It's, it's, about, it's about the the Rooney rule about employing other black coaches because he's done. He's not gonna get another job in the NFL. You sue the NFL, you're not getting another yeah. job in the NFL. That's over with. Seen that happen. This was an issue when when when, Ka when Kaepernick took a lead. This was an issue back then. It was an issue in 2010. This issue 2005. This has been an issue in football. So what I, I'm just I'm just going pattern of behavior. You have nothing to say until it hits you, then all right, then it's about you. That's fine. I'm not going to get in your way. But you can fight your fight while I go mind my business. What if I get out? It depends on how big the issue is. Yeah, I'm with the one. This is a big enough issue to where I don't give a fuck what you did before. The meaning behind this right. is bigger than how yeah, I felt about right. what yeah. you did before. Right. It's 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 right. time for the racism in the coaching ranks of professional sports mirrors the players. Right. In no other situation in life will you find a majority of white male employees under a black boss. It don't exist. You won't even walk into a white church where they got a white G, a black Jesus on the wall. 
Then when, so, so, I hear you. Then so so I will. so. It's popping. So the remedy to that is when, when 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 the whole world is atten- it, when the whole world's attention is on race because this Rooney Rule problem was a problem back then when Kaepernick took a knee. This is a long-standing problem in the NFL. So when race was the key issue, you have to spotlight on yourself. Mm-hmm. You didn't stand up. You said that's his problem. Okay. Now, now it's face you. Fine. That that's the precedent you set. I just go by people's actions. Is that the president you said? Like, look, I'm not getting in his way. But if you didn't, if not only you didn't support, why that would man, you fight? Fu- but why are we fighting for? We should be fighting for managerial positions like we fight for empl- like regular em- uh, NFL players are glorified right. employee. I think it's more important to fight for the decision maker uh, situation right. than the fucking employee. I no. I think this is more important than Kaepernick. I, I honestly it think is. it is. It is. I think so. it this is, is, is a bla- this is a black man <laughs> who was put into a position because he doesn't look black at all. You feel me? So he I, I, we we ain't even gonna talk about what what a mixed person who doesn't look black goes through in everyday America. Yeah, exactly. I got a cousin that is as black as we are, and he do not look like he belong in this room. He look like a, a fair skinned Mexican or a white boy. Yeah. Like and, the, and the shit that he nah. <laughs> I'm talking about a nigga that don't look like he got <laughs> no black in him at all. And some of the shit the nigga tells me he hears, and and it uh, is crazy. It's a, it'll make you be like, damn, nigga, I really don't have a fucking chance. Yeah, I, like, and, and I'm with, I'm with all that. But my thing is, this, it is a big issue. But honestly, my point of view is, football is in the goddamn way. We like football. Football, black people. We've gotten so caught up with entertaining and been everyone else's fucking circus over the last 15, 50 years. We stopped inventing shit. We used to invent all kind of shit. We, 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 we used to create all kind of stuff. We used to have our own banks. We used to have all kind of shit that we no longer have now because we training our kids to be football players and be 10-year-long employees and spend the rest of their life trying to look for a job. Well, we're training, we're Football's training. in the way. Football right. sports is in our way in a lot of ways. Hey, I, I agree. agree with you. This that water bottle. Yeah, yeah. That nigga swallowed it. That nigga swallowed it and chewed it in his neck. That was crazy. I forgot where it was. Y'all ever seen that? Yo. 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 <laughs> Yo, that shit was wild. That shit was wild. That shit was wild. Have y'all, I saw it. Have y'all ever seen a Have y'all ever seen a DJ show eat a watermelon? Just rewind. Just rewind the footage, man. I'm telling you, that shit was wild. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. <laughs> Wiping their hands. Nigga, he wiped them off. And he was like this. Yeah. Like, like, bro, where are they going? Are you sorry? <laughs> that shit was crazy. Use his beard. That's what his beard is for. Uh, that's what, that's what his know. pockets is for. <laughs> 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 I think I got a dollar. Nah, I think I got a dollar. Nah, y'all niggas just. That nigga smell everything before he eat it. Nah. Nigga stupid. Oh, you don't need that? Yeah, you don't need that. Nigga turned down his. Nah, I thought it was a Jergens, my nigga. Go ahead, like, get off. No, yeah, good looking, bro. Nah, yeah, nah, um, nah, you right about that, man. I had posted some shit on Facebook. I'm like, I was like, Kaepernick uh, took a knee, and y'all niggas still sat down to watch football. Yeah. Like, you know, I didn't watch football for football. Nah, I'm not saying that. I'm just talking about all the niggas that's promoting it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It was on my yeah, head, yeah, man. Yeah. If that nigga signed that contract with Maggie, I'm watching football. That nigga ain't still on no. That nigga, that nigga said, "All right, I did my thing." Kaepernick right, got paid. Kaepernick, <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm, saying, I'm just sorry for you. I was not a fan. I, I was on. I was on that nigga's team. Nigga, when he was doing that shit, but. Politics getting in, in, in everybody when they trying to make you a symbol or something, bro. So there we go. You know what I'm saying? He gonna he gonna definitely always fall victim that's, to that shit. That's that real talk. And but like my thing, like the NFL, they made a move <laughs> and they showed us who they are. They Facts. said we ain't changing. Yeah. They said this, and so my thing is this: people have the right to be as racist as they want to be. I love it. If you, I, I, I prefer it because I see what it is. Yeah. Because but to, I, to but, 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 but what's your definition of racism? But you, you know what it is. It's okay, because that's a, but that's important. Can we hear it? I mean, yeah. we all I say it all the time. It's never, it's never it's hard, the competition for yeah, right now, you say to the competition for wealth and resources between groups of people is racism. You hate me because I'm dark skinned That's ignorant as fuck. That's prejudice. Yeah. That's prejudice but I, I include the color coded in it because yeah. at the end of the day, that's how it's applied. It's, it's applied. But my thing is this: they show me what it is. 
They said, we ain't going to change the rules. Shut up and play, nigga. You shut up and play. My thing is this. If that's how they choose to run their business, because you can't go to someone else's business on a human level. You can't tell someone how to run their business. Right. So if that's how they choose to run their business, you have to choose to participate or not. Yeah. Now, if you choose to participate, exactly. and then you want to complain about what you chose to participate in after they told you damn well what it is, then you just have to suffer no. whatever. I agree, with that. I agree with that to a certain point, Dewan. This is the only reason I don't, because... They understood that they made uh, an issue by doing that, by introducing a rule right. saying that we have to interview a certain amount of black, well, you know, but you know what I'm saying, just in yeah, case yeah, they yeah. don't, that you have to interview a certain, a certain amount of black coaches, you know what I'm saying? So if they telling like black coaches to tank and you're, right, your job is going to be cool for next year, don't worry about it. We're just trying to get extra players to make sure you got a, the right. And then Bill Belichick sends a, a text message like, oh yeah, congratulations. But he not sending it to you. The nigga already had the job. So the Rennie, they already, I'm saying, they're not even following their own rules. Yeah, right. That's the problem. Like, right. they, now, if they, if they, if they put in debt for them. Now, if they're not following that, whatever rules they put in, they're not going to give a fuck about. So I'm going to say, that's where, that's where the, the lawsuits come in to me. And I think he should sue the, the NFL. Yeah. Get, get your brick. Because they, yeah, they, they need as many lawsuits as they, they can take. If they're breaking the rules, then they're breaking the rules. You know, bust the rules them. Are they, but, they wrote. but if you yeah. throw racism in it and you've shown in your past that you don't give a fuck about racism when it's on top, then you can fight your fight. And I don't have anything to say about it. The problem is this, man. It's, the, it's the apple pie propaganda. You guys know what apple pie propaganda is? Tell us about it, Craig. So, apple pie know. propaganda. <laughs> apple. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. I was like, you know. You know. Too easy. Too easy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> to propagandize media. Mm -hmm. Like the federal government couldn't be involved on a local level of pandering or presenting information that was propaganda to sway the minds of the American people. Yep, but in 2012 and 2013, that law was nullified. Mm -hmm. So now there is no statute in place that can stop federal agencies or companies that work with federal agencies Pfizer. from putting out propaganda to sway the thoughts of the masses. So now they can say anything with no repercussion. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? They used to, they would still do it before, but now there's legal, no legal statute to protect us or to prevent them from trying to get us to think whatever they want us to think, yeah. which is why the NFL uh, and other companies like that can put out certain things about players and not really face any consequences because there's no legal statute to protect you now. That's and we right. have to remember that all entertainment is propaganda first. Entertainment sec entertainment is always secondary to propaganda. Movies, TV shows, now we talk. sports, now we talk. all that stuff. The NFL is a private organization. They can, they can control the outcomes of games and not face any legal uh, ramifications because they own the product, top yep. to bottom. Yep. So... All this shit is, is just out there for us to pay attention to, focus on, and be, we be focused on games and bullshit while they work on wealth. Why you and that's what I'm saying, like, it's us as a people, like, man, like, when we look at this, the advances we made out of slavery versus what we're doing right now, it's, it's, not, it's no comparison. Like, we, 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 we've really slowed down because we've, our best and brightest are playing sports yeah. and not inventing light bulbs. Granville T. Woods, Black History Month, was seven feet tall. This is the person that invented the roller coaster, the telegraph. If this motherfucker was born today, we'd be telling him to work on his hook shot. Yeah. Right. And when we wouldn't have no fucking up. lights because we, we think our kids are only athletes and not the geniuses that they are. Yeah. Fuck sports. I, I agree with that and I disagree. <laughs> I agree and I disagree. This, this is why, man, because... It was a lot of niggas when he invented the light bulb that didn't invent the light bulb. <laughs> so certain motherfuckers just are special, regardless of what, when, what time period you drop them in. You know what I'm saying? And being special isn't a product of exactly what you do. Special is just something that's in you, and no matter what you do, that will come out of you. Right. You feel what I'm saying? And yeah. the invention of those things were based out of necessity. It was based out of what we needed at that particular time. Niggas are brighter than they've ever been. 
Niggas are, and we're brighter than we've ever been. So I don't think that 100 years ago, it was this incredible motherfucker that exists. There was just less people, less things to focus on. So it's so many, uh, look at how many niggas in this room. You feel me? So it's so many great things happening. It's just more people and it's harder to pinpoint who's who and who's doing it. But it's niggas doing extraordinary shit. The problem isn't necessarily the sports. The problem is our understanding of economics and how it affects us and blowing money. I feel like the, is the materialism and the consumerism is the biggest problem in the ghetto. Huge. Niggas are too comfortable buying from others and we've been, we've been so institutionalized and so uh, beat up propagandized that we don't don't understand why yeah. a, a Chinese man has never come to your neighborhood and bought something from you never. but they'll move into your neighborhood for and you to buy you. stuff from them and sell you fried chicken and that's not so we don't understand that we, we, but we look at it at we look we just look at it we don't understand it when in when in that culture and in all other cultures when they come here there's a reason why they do stuff the way that they do it that's it's racism huh it's a, they, they have a culture, and that, all I'm saying is that I'm not talking about the people who actually make the NBA. Right. It's some people who have just a special talent. Right. I ain't talking about that. Craig, you played basketball. I coached the AAU for years. Right. You know, ninety percent of them little motherfuckers ain't like gonna go. Chance. Ain't gonna make and it. So mama got money though. The problem, the, yeah. <laughs> but, That's but and mama trying to fuck the coach, get yeah. a little more playing time. He's not gonna make it. <laughs> but so some niggas are born is, with shit, bro. Yeah, but my thing is this: okay, you're not gonna make it. Say you do play sports. <laughs> Balance it with other things. You got a lot of people who ain't got no chance, and they they're focusing all that brain power on making the NBA. I agree. The reason why George Washington Carver, Granville oh, T. Woods, the reason why people did what they did was when they were on the way up, they were in the right, they had the right mindset. They were encouraged in, in into the education <coughs> point of view. I agree. If we push the education, if we push the knowledge, and say, okay, basketball is a sport, and if you look like you're gonna be real good, you can go ahead and play it, but you got to spend your time over here. Being a uh, learning how to be a man, because right. even if you do make the NBA, you're gonna be done when you're 35. You still gotta be another, a man for the next 60 years. And you need right. to know economics, though. Yeah, so even, we gotta try. In order for us to do that, we gotta train these kids on that shit. Right. I got a Should question. we train everybody on economics? Everybody. Should, everybody. Because, everybody. It, it, it shouldn't have to be like, like a special thing but for it, an athlete. But in Africa. I think that's easier to, I think it's easier than to say it, to say it that way because I think if you are if you are a kid of seven other kids that's in the house. Your mom ain't got no job. There ain't no daddy in the house. You gotta be the breadwinner. So it's like, man, you trying to you trying to get an education and trying to do all that. It may it may not be feasible. And I'm six nine. You gotta, you gotta you gotta go feed your family. And I'm six nine. Right. Yeah, get out, Jump shot. It's not exception. That's shot. one thing. But one thing about it, basketball, you got a one point something percent chance of making yeah. the NBA. Yeah. Nobody ever if, if we train you in coding at the age of thirteen, Man. you got a hundred percent chance of making money Never again. and making you, this tech money out right now Crazy. is big. We train twelve year olds on this but, shit right now. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. Goddamn team. Right, let me tap into this. Money. This is this the thing we need to tap into also. When we're talking about economics, the fact that. Brown can say it when he his, the mama broke, the daddy broke, and if they talking about anything else in that house besides economics, it's a fucking problem. Right. See what I'm saying? If everybody broke, but we're talking about everything else besides how do you get money, maintain it, and and generate it, what are we talking about? Everybody What's got going this, on in them households. Well, that's, that's how they got there, though. No, that's what I'm saying. So why? No, I'm asking you. Why are we continuing to talk about whatever we're talking about, and we don't have this? That's the we problem. have all the drama. We have all the the whatever. You you know the hottest shit. You know this. How did you get out of this economic situation that has you angry? It should be not taking right. care of your kids, not 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 dealing with politics and what's going on around you, and just oh, I, I'm just a Democrat. Fuck it, I'm not gonna think of that. <laughs> It should be illegal. That's, a lot. That's what's happening. In it should be America. illegal. It should be illegal to have sex if you don't have income. That's a fact. That's it right. should be against the law. <laughs> That's crucial. Like break if the law. you if your bitch niggas come up pregnant and you can't prove you got income, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> it should be a hey, nigga. Well, you. You can go to jail. It should be illegal. You said you get pussy quicker than the Big Mac. What did DJ Quick say? You get pussy quicker than the Big Mac. Pussy's a privilege, my nigga. DJ Quick. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. First you get the money, then you get the power. He said that. Word words, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Most nigga would have noticed. But it's, 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 it's a, at the end of the day, it's a balance because I don't judge them because it's not in their consciousness. You know, you can't. You can only you, people are only going to act off what's in their consciousness. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and that's my problem. Human beings 
behave on rewards and consequences. Mm. And so that's just a that's just a human thing, no matter what race you Come are. Come on, let me ask you this though. Uh, Comedy is a psyche of that. Mm. We can all say fuck Trump though, right? We can all get the black community to say fuck one candidate. We can do that. Mm. We've seen it happen. Yeah. We've seen the, the Democrats come and do that. But why, when it comes to economics, we just cannot get to that conversation it's, and make shit happen? I'm saying yeah. we have the ability yeah. to be like, let's come together and do some shit and make some moves, some shit. But when it when it comes to economics, it's like like there's a there's a disconnect there. Like we don't even want to talk I'm, about. I'm gonna explain it. I, what part of it, what it is again? It's not in our consciousness, and it's been purposely breeded out of our consciousness right. over the last <clears> two hundred years. <throat> and so when it comes down, I'm about necessity. So, though. I'm talking about it's, it's necessity, but that's why. But again, I, I, was, I was gonna make that point. Yeah. I'm a circle. Like when it comes down to it, people perform off rewards and consequences. When the reward all the time, and this has been the reward for the last six years of Black America. We got to be real. The rewards have been you become an entertainer right. or an athlete. Right. So people, when they when they hear economics, they're thinking, okay, if I hit the lottery and make the NBA, those are my economic opportunities. Right. right. Watch doc, the documentary called Elementary Genocide. When it comes to education, are the desire for Black people to learn more? Is bred out of them in kindergarten, first and second. By the time a black child reaches the second grade, he's done with school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's done on purpose through the education system. Mm -hmm. So we got to understand that. And so um, when it comes down to it, when the adults, the kids see what we praise. If we're the ones always pushing sports, always pushing sports, if they don't have any good direction at home, they're going to look up and be like, okay, sports is how I get competition. Either I mean, that's how that's how I get that's how I get uh, any any kind of uh, any kind of recognition. recognition. But, but, but the one, but, but the one, no, come on, you missing something, big bro. Good education costs, bro. Right. We we uh, good education. Yeah. Shit, you crazy? When you four, five, six, seven years old, and no, you're raised not by the internet. Well, yeah. Fresh out of saying, slavery. Fresh out of slavery. Well, yeah. Fuck that. I'm talking about right now. Yeah, now, now. My Internet. daughter codes. She okay. took class at USC. That shit was free. Yeah, okay, it's, okay it's, but it's, she it's, got a father, nigga. But right, but that's what, that's that's what I'm thing. saying. You niggas is talking like everybody's yeah. in no, situations. No, 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 no. At my, no. Last, at my last job, all I, did, no. all I did was work with kids who didn't have who didn't have families. Okay. There are so many free programs you, that are put in these children's faces about free coding. You're expecting a kid to use his free will without being guided. I'm expecting a parent. But that's the that right. my bad. That's the whole thing I was saying about uh, what Dunk was saying. You were saying why we ain't teaching them, and we we're, we're programmed so we are. We think we are teaching them. You know what I mean? But when we're they, not. When, no, no, right? No, what I'm what I'm saying is when they see us, when they see us showing rap and we showing all of these video girls and we showing them uh, sports and all this kind of stuff. That's their way out the hood. So that is the yeah, economic. That, that is the is economic, economic freedom. Free. Yeah. And so and and and, yeah. and and the same thing that Craig was saying. The, I mean, the information is free. But if I take this phone and give it to my kid, they're not looking up that information. Yeah, they going straight shark. to YouTube. They going yeah. to all that other kind yeah. of shit. But and see, yes, on us to teach them. Exactly. But a lot of us don't even know that shit to teach them. They they're going to go to what we're encouraging. They're going to go to what we're encouraging. We're encouraging debauchery. That's what they're going to go, we look, we're we're going to, go but, to. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But that's what's programmed in us. Because we're probably looking at the same shit. We not we not look we not looking at we not looking at all that thing. shit. A lot of us can't do that. We're we're to look I'm at grown. The same shit. I'm grown. Let it, let it let it no, no, that's what I'm saying. I, we 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 are programmed to look at the same shit they are. Like as kids, we programmed like we were talking before the candy cigarettes and the toy guns and the the the, the big chew. Now niggas are smoking weed. Niggas are shooting guns. Niggas. Are, we were trained younger to see this shit, and that's what we that's what we get out of. So we grow up. Yeah. We still in that mindset. Now our kids is growing up under us in the same mindset. So we blame the parents. I'm not gonna blame kids for yeah, yeah. being introduced right. to shit. That's that's why I'm with. That's why I'm actually the one. We blame why? the system. No, no, nigga. no. 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 We can blame the system. It's systematic. But, no, but bro, it is systematic. But, but you got to be able to. You got. You got to be able. If you're, if you're in that system and you're and you're you're, you're playing the game. You know, like you said, if you if you gonna fuck with the NFL, you gotta overcome with it. Mm -hmm. You know the system is economic suppression. That's not how. Why it works. are you? It is economic. If you're it, it broke. Is. No. That's the reason why you're broke. It's no, it's not the government. It's you're broke. You see other people around you getting money. Let me tell you. You that said that this is what black people do. I'm telling you, black people don't be like, oh, he's getting money. Hey, Craig, let me get 20 minutes, bro. What are you? What's going on? Oh, this on? nigga think he <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, that's I'm gonna a, rob this nigga. That's what I'm saying. It, it's there, but we're not thinking like that. We're thinking like, okay, this nigga's better than me. So I'm not good as you. We I'm gonna sit there and put, I'm gonna pull holes well, or whatever you're doing thing. to put you on my go, level. Go ahead and I got something. Go ahead, Blaze. I got one line. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world that he didn't exist. 
It doesn't work like that, bro. It the does. reason the reason we fucked is by design. Right. It is by design. Okay. If, if they, At this point, if, we don't if, know it. What's the problem? What are we doing? If we don't know, do we don't know what we're doing? Do, do you what think this was a bullshit design? No, I'm telling do you, you. Do you I'm think saying, this is a high no, This is top of the so, line. This is top of the line shenanigans. I know, and I'm with you. I'm right there with you. Right. They 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 planned this shit for hundreds of years ahead of whatever I'm even talking about right now. Right. So they got some shit twenty years from right now. Right. So what I'm saying is. I know this, uh -huh. you know this, what makes us special that we see this shit, that our brother, it, niggas see I shit and you. ignore it. I think what's That's the problem. You see shit and you ignore it. That's not my issue. We don't believe it. That's right. the thing. Yeah. Because of the fuck, the bullshit yeah. programming, we've been designed, yeah. or we've, we've accepted a coding that says, mm -hmm. if I don't believe it, it's not true. That's, right. Right. That's true. That's right. real true. And that ain't how this shit works. Just because you don't believe it don't mean it's not happening. Yeah. My right. dad's generation they was worried about robots and immigrants Man. taking jobs. <laughs> That's what they was worried about in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. What's robots and immigrants <laughs> taking their jobs. Guess what? Robots yeah. and immigrants <laughs> took the jobs. Yeah. Okay, so just because you may be in disbelief that it's happening doesn't mean it's happening. But the lack of understanding in economics is why we're not balancing ourselves or making decisions because of it. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Being black is a it's a labor force. It's a labor force. Right. If all niggas said no black people work these jobs or go here put pressure on I, well, we need 20,000 niggas to go down in the Chevy well, plant. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 nigga, but that's all it takes is unity. Yeah. Right. We don't have that though. That's all it takes is unity. It's really that simple. Well, we do we, have all it takes is unity. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> what I can say is I think it's a competition thing. And as black people, I think I think what what we battle against is that there's there's a limited amount of spots. It's not, yeah. it's, not it's not like other races where there where like there's multiple there's a multiplicity of, of things that you can have. With us, we scared of competition. And the competition could be dozy. Yeah. Like because we're fighting for the same job. So I'm not gonna tell Dozy if I'm going for the same position. Mm -hmm. So so because it's limited, it's limited spots that you can get there, it's automatically a shut a shut off valve. And so I think that's where that's where they have us because there's only so many positions that that is there for us, and we're not gonna share we're not gonna share the information. But that's but that but that's economics. That's, that's supply and demand. Right. That's, that's right. all so economics. That's, and that's the system that you yeah. that we're talking about. That's so the system. Yeah. But that's why this is This is how he brought it. Like how he said, he could have said anybody in the room, but he said me for a reason. Right. He's talking about he's I'm the immigrant. I'm even on the border I'm from Guardian. Right. But right. you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's an immigrant too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So it's like like my my dad is is the immigrant. Okay, fine. We let's go with that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. We, my dad came in, he took a job from somebody. So it's like, that. there's that, like, that, all right, well, I don't want to tell Richard about the job because well, she, he might get it before I will because they're going to look at his name and think, okay, they'll give it to him before they give it to me. Right. We talk about and, this all right, the time. Yeah. And that's, that's, a, that's a real thing, I understand that's how it. The system is designed to be that way because at the end of the day, after slavery, they that we, we as black people, we dealt with this with the Italians when they came, when the Irish came, when the Germans came, when the Chinese. Every, every immigrant group the United States has brought over has been <laughs> specifically to take the jobs that we once held right. to undercut us economically. But what happens so, when they get here? What happens when they 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 get here? They work hard for a generation. But what do they do? Huh? They move. They 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 mobilize. They mobilize. They, 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 no, they, 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 they mobilize. And look, and, and look, let me cut, tell you. They cut. They want to cut the price of labor. Yes, they mobilize as unit, but it's not that we don't. My we do God. mobilize as a unit, but the CIA comes. But, but we, we don't do it economically. Oh, no, we do. Yeah, okay, we look like church, yes, church, church, name, church, church is the biggest gang for black people. Yeah. Yeah. Baptist Church is the biggest gang for black people in this country, yeah. right? They, they the bigger than Bloods, Crips, Vice Lords, Disciples, whatever gang you think is big, the Baptist Church is bigger than that gang. All them churches by far, right? right? Mm -hmm. But look at the psychology, the lack of understanding of economics. Yeah. We put all these resources, we, we got 2,000 members of a church, they put all their money and resources into the church, and one motherfucker yeah. is benefiting off of thousands. Right. Mm -hmm. And the psychology, the pimp psychology is so cold that nobody ever thinks to say, hey man, we need to split this up a little bit more evenly. Right. Yeah. Or like, look, church. you know, how come your kids? They're having a Dr. No, Cherry. No, no. Dr. Cherry's about to open up a whole goddamn in DC. He's about to open up a credit union. They but but that's, our biggest, that's our biggest asset is the church. But we require the least from them. Yeah. Even that's by design because 
in the in the, well, before the sixties business before the sixties the church used to be the was the economic place. That's what they built. You got your house built by the church. Yeah, See, well, the but it ain't that no more. The the churches built them all the rural houses. And all the brothers get together. That's where you learn how to be. That's where they taught education. They did learn how to be an together. electrician. The wood <laughs> the woodwork. What happened was in the late sixties, nineteen sixty eight. That's when the government decided, okay, we're gonna start putting up uh, in in, the, in your five hundred one c three. You can't say this. You can't do that if you want to maintain your eligibility. Right, right. And then what happened? Yeah. In the, the the biggest move that was made over the last twenty five years was in two thousand one. When President Bush signed those faith-based initiatives, what that did was it took away responsibility from like tutoring and these things from private organizations, and they put it into the church. Yep. But what happens when the government starts giving money to the church? They tell the church, now, you want to start talking to your members about economics and shit, mm-hmm. or do you want this money? Right, right, right. And so the churches have been successfully infiltrated by the government. So again, we, got, we all got to understand that we had a church, but the beautiful thing is most black people are leaving the church. So black folks keep it up. But here's but the thing. It's not beautiful. It is great that we leave it. It's not beautiful because at least in the church, motherfuckers' money was being pulled together. Now it's going to well, fragment. It's, going, it's, it's further fragmenting us. You feel what I'm saying? It, you, like, go you, got, you got 20 niggas who don't know each other who make 150K a year. That's not a very powerful thing collectively. But if all them niggas fuck with each other. And made moves collectively. That's power. Yeah. If the yeah. if the pastor uses it right. So way. what I'm saying is, we need to go into church, knock out these pastors, <laughs> put hands on, <laughs> and we need to start. <laughs> church should be. It ain't no way one nigga should be talking in front of thousands every every Sunday. <laughs> that should be seven, eight motherfucking experts in what they do. Yeah. Uh, Blaze, come up here, teach the people, to teach people about cars to, right. for 15 yeah. minutes. How to make an educated purchase, what to look for, how to find whatever. Keep All right, it yeah. should be one music that's expert. Like that nigga's an expert on John. This nigga's an expert on Mike. Right, 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 right. One a, mu- a music expert. Now come in. Tell us about cliff notes, quarter notes, all that type of shit. Who Beethoven was still an ass nigga, all that. Bam, Todd. Plants, animals. Come in. You do a hamster demonstration. In front of the That's what it should be, though. But absolute power corrupts absolutely. When we come back, more correct facts. Yeah, 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 yeah. This shit ain't no regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you feel me? Because this is a peanut booty butter and jelly sandwich fried. Let's get to it. Hey, I'm a director. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to be showing y'all how to make one of the easiest, most quickest to go at home. I know you got it in your pantry type meals. And I got someone here to taste test with me. This nigga right here. Oh shit! What's up, D? Yeah, man, I can't, I can't wait for the sandwich, man. Shit, hell yeah, man. Come on, man. Come on, Craig. You gotta, you got, you gotta, you gotta come see the whole process, man. What we got here, man? We got a whole lot of loose pieces here, bro. What I have here is I got some avocado oil, some good bread, some whole grain wheat, oat filled bread. You know, look like chocolate and shit. I got some good bananas right here. Pause. Good bananas, long, yellow, ripe, long, thick, Pause. curvy, girthy bananas. I got some good peanut butter right here. And you know what this is. Yeah, that's this that filet, man. This that filet, man. This that, this that strawberry jam, man. What's up with all these nuts on the bread, man? What's going on here, bro? Man, real niggas know nuts and bread is the only thing on my mind. <laughs> real shit. Super <laughs> ball. Hey, what is this juice here? What is this? This is uh, avocado juice? Av- avocado oil. Oil. How do they make it? You know what? I've never been too sure on that process, but I'm pretty sure they extract it from some avocados. I heard they steal it. Like, niggas go out and steal avocados. They steal it and squeeze it into No, juice. they distill it. What's this uh, Flintstone uh, platter you got here. What is to be honest with you, this right here is just for looks. You know, real chef niggas. You know, you always see some shit like this in that kitchen. Real vegan chefs up in there making tea and shit. And then, you know, I just got some, you know, some pack right there. You know, just oh, just to go okay. along with the overall energy. Step number one, we are gonna get some of this from the Alps peanut butter. You know what I'm saying? We are gonna get a good glob. Spread it straight over the bread, just like that. 
Let's do it, man. You know what I mean? Me, me personally, I'm going to put a little bit extra because, you know, I want mine to look kind of soupy. Soupy sandwich, huh? But this ain't no regular peanut butter and jelly. We're going we gonna to put it to work. I'm going to slap meat on it. Uh -huh. <laughs> look at that. We got, it, we got it nice and caked up. We can shine it off the light. Yeah, mm -hmm. Honestly, if you're a filthy nigga, in which I am, I'm going to use the exact same knife I've used with the peanut butter and I'm gonna use it in the strawberry. And this that no preservative fruit spray, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Good for the third eye, you know what I mean? Open up that pineal gland. Yep, no, no. Get it crystallized. No fluoride in my jelly. Dang. Peruvian shamans. All right, next. I'm a, um, actually I can get you another napkin so you can wipe your knife off if you ever yeah, have to. Next, I'm going to hang Craig a banana. Banana. And I'm going to give me a banana. Banana. We're going to properly peel. Look at that. That's a healthy banana. Ooh. Jeez, man, I hear that all the Can time. Can you do that? Like. Ladies, you like healthy bananas? Banana. We're going to be chopping it up. That's, that's the next step. You know, I'm going to just. I like it in, you know, I'm real, I'm real proper with this part. I'm going to at least do half. I need at least half of the banana. Oh yeah, no, you're not doing that right. You're doing them a little too thick, but it depends how thick you like them. Oh no, man, you're a dicer. I'm not a dicer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a dicer sometimes. Technically, you can stack this whole sandwich high. You're gonna put it over, and then you got yourself a sandwich, oh, and we're done, man. and we're gonna bite. That's not really true. That's not really true. This is where it really comes into play. You're gonna wanna get you one of these nice, you know, non-stick technically can release some chemicals to your body. So this is that not non-stick. This will stick. But I got something to make it not stick. And to where we won't get cancer later on in life. Hey, did it spark? The point of this vegan plant-based show is to just show that you can still be the realest nigga on earth and still be a vegan on the same day. And don't feed into their bullshit. Cause they definitely on bullshit. But it's also primarily to educate and show that this way is just healthier, you know what I mean? No heart disease. I don't really like cancer. I'm not really a big fan. Like, we're gonna just raise consciousness, you know what I mean? Cause everything ties hand in hand, my nigga. My brain is like a leaf, my nigga. I just need water. I don't even need food. If you really think about it, I don't even gotta be right here. I could just be living off water. Real facts. I'm gonna fry this sandwich right here because I like the crispy outer part of it and I just like the crunch and the sweetness combination. It's like I'm eating a crunch bar texture. without the crunch bar. I like the texture. The texture. God, that's really good, man. On some Italian shit. That's fine. All right, man, we're gonna get to it. Uh... You know, I like to go back and forth just so I can monitor the, the burnage on my dog. Crazy, man. You want to turn it in a triangle or yeah. like, oh yeah, you cut, cut. Is there a specific technique to the cut? No, I, I, it's either straight down or, you know, if you're a creep, you could do long ways. Yeah. No, this is the way. <laughs> I'm a creep, I can do it long Yeah, that, this way is some, like yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, no, nah, that's some creepy <laughs> shit. Nah, fuck no. Bro, this oat milk is different. This ain't that go sour in two weeks shit. You know how niggas dip donuts in coffee? That's smart. That's well, I do it with- That's worse. I do it with Oreo cookies. I don't do it with coffee. I've never dipped a donut. Oreo and what, like milk? Oreo and milk. Oh, hell yeah. I got fat off that. I trust you, bro. You're not having me on no bullshit, are you? Nope. So I can dip? Yup. Crazy. Man. This shit is legit. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're talking about. Nigga, oh my god. This is my shit. Think about it, what did we really do here? We pulled up, ate something healthy, and we gonna leave on a higher vibration and we probably end. This is one-on-one -on -one with D-Bangs and Craig, really just eating food. So, how was it and would you make this at home? 
It was good, man. Um, especially that part that I can taste when I do that. That part is really good. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I make it as simple. I felt it was good, man. Great job, bro. Thank you, man. It's good shit. What's your favorite part about it? Oats, the oats. The oats. The oats, yeah, as texture is crunchy. Get stuck in your teeth a little bit, pull Look. it out, a little bit of extra mini game in the food. Very, I mean, the hybridization of all the different things, the banana, the bread, all that shit works together. It's great. Oh, my God. I'm glad to hear it, man. Yeah, I mean, man, thank you for I've been working on this meal for mad long, and, you know, I'm glad to see it finally coming together, and I get to share it with my people. Yeah. Would you would, now? Would you recommend this meal to my fans? Yeah, go buy it. Yeah, man, make yourself one of these, man. Uh huh. You heard it right here, man. Craig is co-signing the meal. Right. I'm with my legendary homie, man. Thank you for cooking for me, man. Look, follow me at the. CraigSmith.com. Also check out the website, and I'm dropping the Chill Withers project very soon. Look, man, if I owe you something, I'm not gonna be able to give it to you. But if you want it, you can get it from God, nigga. <laughs> yeah. yeah, everyone from back out in the age try to hate. He said he wasn't on shit. Stay up on my way when I blow away no more. Let me try to get him on a song shit. None of them spit like. <sighs> hey guys. Oh, hi. Nice you to must meet be Marty. You. Yeah, yeah, Marty. Nice to meet you guys. Oh, thank you. Yeah. COVID-19. Hello, yeah. I'm Buck. Welcome nice. to the Hells Angels offices. It's a uh, nice office. Well, I mean, this is Beverly Hills. Uh, we yeah. are the first Hells Angels chapter in Beverly Hills history. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to be, like, rude or anything. I thought you guys were a white supremacist group. Yeah, you're thinking of Hades Angels. This is Hells Angels. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, how'd you hear about us? Well, a group of you guys actually robbed my grandmother at gunpoint. <laughs> that sounds like us. But, uh, also <laughs> Craigslist. Oh, you saw the ad? Yeah, yeah. Oh, great, great. Nice to know it's working. Yeah. You should tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I was working at Amazon, but I kind of felt like Jeff Bezos had a ceiling above our heads because we could only make $6 an hour. Well, there's a lot of room for growth here. Do you own a sawed-off shotgun? I was hoping that you guys actually provided that. We do not provide sawed-off shotguns to new hire employees. What are your salary expectations? Well, like I said, I was actually only making $6 an hour at Amazon, and that wasn't enough to even feed my cat. So I need like $14 an hour because she's about to have kitties. Oh, grandcats. Yes, great grandcats. Hmm. Do you own a motorcycle? I own a moped, but I do have a motorcycle license. And it says right here you've killed 14 people. That's great. <laughs> That's great, man. Uh, what does it sound like right before somebody dies? Well, what I did was they were, I wrapped my hands around their neck and I pushed in on their Adam's apple. It just, it's like they just did like a, a gasp and then they like had that look in their eye like they knew they were about to die. And then I just pressed my forehead to their forehead and then they passed away. You haven't killed anybody, have you? No, I haven't. I'm sorry. I can definitely tell. Look at your shirt. <clears throat> I don't think I'm out of line in asking why you would come into this office and lie. I mean, COVID-19, you just look outside, it's destroyed so many businesses. And the Hells Angels, it's, it's the only place hiring right now. You guys in Walmart. You don't have a motorcycle? You don't have a sawed-off shotgun. Your head is in the right place, but normally we don't do entry-level positions. We would be willing to offer you the position for the six-month unpaid internship. However, you would have to uh, kill two people. Guys, I would be more than happy to kill two people. You got a lot of heart. You tell me who you want dead, and they're dead. The first six months you'll be riding in a sidecar with one of our oldest chapter members, Shit Buzzard. He'll be training you. Great. 
Great, guys, this is, this is fantastic. Are you able to grow facial hair? I actually, like it, I can, but it like comes in sort of like patchy. Like I have like facial alopecia. One moment, please. Okay, no problem. If you don't, if you don't, excuse me here. Um, okay. Yeah, let's see here. Okay, let's just. Yeah, that, that definitely. Is that? Okay, let's just. All right, this, this, this should be this. Just, just it's perfect. Now, uh, that looks, that looks great. Yeah, looks great. Welcome aboard. Hey, I want to say thank you so much for hiring me. Also, remember your sawed-off shotgun. I'll text you the phone number of our illegal weapons distributor, and uh, he'll get you started to get you a, a gun for a reasonable price. Guys, I can't tell you how happy I am. Make sure you wear a mask Monday. We have a lot of older members in their mid-70s, and they're high risk. I am not going to let you down. I am a go-getter, and I promise you I will not give you anything less than 110%, okay? We would expect nothing less. This is a big opportunity. Thank you. Congratulations there. Thank you. Take care, okay? Yeah. Bye. Shit buzzards really gonna love this kid. One time I walked into a restaurant while, while a woman I was dating was on a date. So I did what any real man would do. I introduced her to my date. I was like, hey, how you doing, friend? Friend, this is my friend. My friend, this is her friend. And wow, that's a whole lot of friendly shit going on in here today, huh? Well, God bless. You God bless all the friendships happening in here today. You gotta let some people just be who they are and accept them for that, you know, cause the ego, ego will fuck shit up, man. The ego will have you thinking that it can't happen to you. It can happen to anybody. Your woman's supposed to be the closest thing to you. Let me tell you something, fellas. You don't know your girlfriend until you've dropped her off at her boyfriend's house. Huh? That's when you know a woman. Go on inside. You know I love you. Go on inside. Gone and uh, I think we OD Clear the air like some trees until we OD I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds But I'm man enough to say that we OD I think we od clear the air like some trees until we OD. I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds, but I'm man enough to say that we OD. I when I buy it, you buy it, but ain't nobody selling shit. Jealous of the fetishes when ownership's the medicine. Do the things that boomerang so you can leverage it. Shit gets hairy, be a wig and get ahead of it. Miss you say you bored, we not on one accord. Arguing and fight, damn near mopping up the floors. That lesbian sex shit ain't free. She gon' have to pay you, cause you got to pay me. And we keeping this in order. Can't be a dime without the rest of my quarter, cause I'm never there, sorta. Before me, it was a bunch of weird niggas around you. Hobby shop till I broke the board. I'm karate chop. And I'm really not into violence. Interpretate the silence as prizes. And I'm really more into vibing, you perpetrating Simons or Hymans. I think we od clear the air like some trees until we od I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds, but I'm man enough to say that we od uh, I think
think we OD'd Clear the air like some trees until we od I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds But I'm man enough to say that we od My neighbor Dan lost some weight but he ain't came too far Hit that alarm 1500 times a day trying to show you his car and we both know he's proud of it Go off a dance, some of that clam and watch some chowdery Cause you could be with the miss, but without a bitch The with is the money and without is the glitch You're paying her to leave if she breathe, you should trip Miami, the Grammys, New York, a trip I'm searching for emotion, but all I know is logic She wants to be my girlfriend, I show her like my closet Cause we could be close and yet still remain strangers Leave that where you from shit to them gang bangers I'm highly advanced, the message in the dance Some of y'all wear the skirts while those of us wear the bands You wanna know the difference? It's really not explicit It's when a nigga talk to his bitch, shut up and listen uh. I think we od clear the air like some trees until we od I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds But I'm man enough to say that we od uh, I think we od clear the air like some trees until we od I might move a little fast and didn't plant no seeds But I'm man enough to say that oh, we od Believe that. Grind it before I get it. get it. Bring my niggas with me. Ain't no, no limits, limits to the ceiling. The ceiling. Out here touching digits. digits. Hoes showing love, but, but please, please don't catch no feelings. Riding with that thumper while I'm thumbing through these millions. Hunting to feed my children. Lying in the jungle. Hey, y'all be hanging where y'all hang out? At least I make space for niggas. This is where y'all hang out? Happy birthday. That first thing you need. Oh, we're back. Brown and his boys. Brown is back. Hit the like button. Happy birthday, guys. Yeah. Happy birthday, Craig. Hit those likes up, family. Let's get those likes up. Hit the like button. Let's get it. Let's get it. Sonny, hit the jacket button. You can hit back. Yeah, that, nigga did, that nigga dipped his jacket in. Yeah, that nigga, no, it's not on the jacket. Yeah, all right, jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, all, jokes, all joking aside, Sonny B flies a motherfucker, so he one of those niggas that can <laughs> sneak. In, he can sneak in some Fugazi shit, and I'll be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> you know Sonny B, Sonny B fly is a chicken, nigga. <laughs> that nigga stupid. Hey, that nigga's told us outside. That nigga like, so when I'm around y'all niggas every time, I won't be cute. <laughs> In your window, ass. Don't do something like that. That nigga jacket is uh, dipped in candy apple. <laughs> hey, right. so, hey, 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 sun is so, sun is so fly, man. You can uh, get a mustache from him for the low. Check yeah. mine out. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Show trying to joke, looking like a junior varsity Tasmanian devil out here. <laughs> God damn, that was long, was bro. Yeah. He said right here on the right on the slopes. He said right here on the slopes, right here on the left, my nigga. That's that bomb? Hmm? No, that's fire. No, that Auto, get your partner. Yeah. <laughs> How old, show? That nigga, Work said, out. That, nigga, that nigga said he got a mustache for going down low. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Make this shit up. Wow. That nigga, that nigga <laughs> Sunny Jacket, know. Sunny Jacket made out of firecracker paper. I thought that jacket was real until they started making all that noise and shit. That nigga squeaking. That's some Jackie D40 on it. That nigga went his auntie closet and played dress up. That nigga dressed like he's an heir to the ketchup fortune. Sonny Hines, nigga. Oh, oh shit. Sonny Hines. Hines when he come to the office, everybody. I thought right. that jacket was real until he yeah. nudged me in my head. That's what I thought. Yeah. 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 on my purple sweater. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga dressed like Grace Jones. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga shit patent leather, nigga. Nah, that's, yeah. that's, that's fruit roll up, man. That's that like shit. Somebody missing some 11s, nigga. That's that Russian special, man. Putin leather. Putin leather. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That shit is a seat of a red Dotson, nigga. I said, I'm going to get you something. Don't make me hop after you. Don't make me hop after you. And then they got that new roll-up joint. You got that new roll-up. This nigga want a snack. That nigga bring new words to nigga. I look like a snack. You ready? You ready? You ready? If Sonny put his jacket out like this, nigga show body like it. Let go sit your ass down. Yeah, nigga, go sit your ass down. Sit your ass down, Coco Beware. Coco Beware. Coco Beware. It's the mustache. Why do you have Coco? Yeah, yeah. I need to kiss Sonny on the Hey, me or Sonny got a little mustache. You kiss that nigga Sonny on the lips and got that mustache. Yeah. 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 That nigga dressed like a uh, that nigga dressed like a blood donation. And they got that old negative jacket on. I might come back next week. I don't know. This nigga Sonny be plasti dipped. That nigga jacket is laminated, nigga. Yeah. I just said yeah, that. Somebody, 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 somebody said that. Somebody. That looked like the skin on uh, sweet and sour pork. Sonny <laughs> <laughs> forgot to soak his jacket before he wore it. So <laughs> that nigga jacket made out of red vines. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Jones candy paint on his jacket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they got uh, and the, the, niggas, the niggas really a hemophiliac. He's bleeding. <laughs> He's bleeding. He's bleeding. That's a fashionable bleed. That's a fashionable bleed. <laughs> that nigga. That nigga. <laughs> that nigga got that jacket from the Janet Jackson control <laughs> tour. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga, that, nigga, that nigga dressed like he up under a scab. That nigga saw Eddie Murphy roll and said, I need that jacket. <laughs> that nigga jacket having a period. Yeah. That nigga gonna take off that jacket and use a con as a condom after he put that <laughs> That nigga painted that jacket with lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> and the jacket yeah. is too small. Just yeah. case it, yeah. it don't even go down to yeah. the yeah. way. That nigga has to wrap a sweater yeah. around it just to cut it off. Yeah. Yeah. Just to fill yeah. it up. Nigga. That nigga's wearing a thigh jacket. Yeah. Yeah. That, nigga, that, yeah. nigga yeah. that nigga dressed like he about to ovulate. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> he got that from the baby fat cleanse rack. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that nigga look like he held Patty LaBelle move. <laughs> <laughs> you what you, you doing that jacket? Oh, you that give me that jacket. <laughs> That nigga dressed like one of the city girls. <laughs> that nigga flew down to the show. <laughs> he did. He did. He did. Oh, shit. He did. That nigga dragon stop at his belly button. Don't let it go. Y'all go ahead and leave Bunny the Barge alone. <laughs> Hey, Sonny dressed like he uh, only watched different strokes. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? That nigga favorite episode is the bike shot when the nigga got molested. That nigga molested Dudley, remember that? <laughs> It's a very special episode. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got a, uh, he got a Matador jacket over here. A Matador. Yeah, <laughs> man, the flow's gonna go for five minutes, Otto. Yeah. Oh, damn. Wait, is it the mustache? Uh, yeah, yeah, like so it's the mustache. I need my money back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga got a genuine you, cover on his bathroom mirror. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what hair is you use for that mustache? Nasty. 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 Nasty.
Those pub hairs. I don't know. I don't put that shit. I said gladly. And that nigga Sonny. Hey, we're gonna stop. We're gonna, hey, we gonna stop clowning if you take off your hat. Happy birthday, Craig. He didn't like it. Hey, hey, take, hey, Sonny, 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 take off your hat. We'll stop clowning. How do you take off your hat? Then he got one more hand. Sonny, I noticed you got zippers that go up to your elbow. Do you have to unzip and take the jacket off? Uh, 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 that was Michael Jackson when he was singing to the rat. Hey, uh, <laughs> 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 well, show me in the backyard. He uh, stared through the sliding glass window into the living room today. Over. <laughs> 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 he don't walk in and wait till somebody <laughs> open it. Because he's not human. <laughs> so he don't know how to open the door. When somebody got to do it for him. When you, eat pussy, oh. hey, when you eat pussy from the back, you give bitches anal. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. You only fuck during a certain season every year. <laughs> You you the type of nigga to watch porno and nut with the nigga. Uh, <laughs> keep call, you keep calling me gay. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't nothing gay about me, nigga. But I guess it's, hey, it's hey, hey. Sometimes when you oh, when you mate, you sometimes when you mate, you you lock in the pussy. Your owner can't get you. <laughs> 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 She locked on him. I can't get him out. Right, you got that beanie on because you're covering up that sprayed up afro. You keep popping balls in the backyard. Nigga, stupid. You got you got you got your sweater from Santa's Village. <laughs> You bit your neighbor's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You stupid nigga. Nigga, stupid. Again? Oh, that nigga's stupid. Oh, this is. Go ahead, go ahead, Ty. Ty got something you want to say. Go ahead, Ty. Okay, here we go. That nigga gonna say. Show, show. Show's gums look like if Blaze put on Richie's jacket. <laughs> Red and black, that's funny. I'm working too hard. I smoke way too much weed for that. I'm sorry. I'm too high. You're a comedian. And it takes time for you. Be funnier. All right, Blaze Bo Cop. Yeah. Blaze Bo Cop. Okay. Shim Shim. Um, Shim Shim. Oh, like Robo Cop. Blaze Bo Cop. Y'all ain't ready to think tonight. Okay. Uh, uh, you got that headband in the honor of Brandon Lee. Yeah. Brandon Lee, that's Bruce Lee. Not Chuck Miller. Not Charles Bronson. That was him. Not Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee. God damn. When, uh, when, sh when show family go on vacation, they leave a week worth of food on the floor for them. <laughs> You look like Air Dog from NBA Jam. Hey, when Todd making fortune cookies, sometimes he steals the notes. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
Fuck my fortune now. Oh, shit. That's some fun stuff. It's fucked up because everybody ain't got a time machine, so I can't. This nigga won't be enjoying it. <laughs> when Blaze got the dusty dreads, you can't fuck with him. I get you. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> my nigga Blaze. Shout out, shout out to himself. <laughs> if, if you stand behind show and go, he gonna turn around. <laughs> You got you wearing a BMX chain, Blaze. Yeah. That nigga lay upside down on the couch and soak his dregs in mop water. I ain't said it. That's some funny yeah, shit, man. That's hilarious. Uh, Todd is sus <laughs> is suspicious of Panda Express. <laughs> <laughs> this is not like normal. Like, <laughs> this is not like normal. You talking Chinese, oh, bro? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Man, oh, no shit. Shit. This this is a correct fact, okay? Every time Todd finishes an egg roll, <laughs> <laughs> he loses his headband. <laughs> oh, 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 and he got the uh, sock on the back. Let's go. Show can't wait to tie get up so he can smell his chair. <laughs> <laughs> when your homeboys drop you off, you play drunk. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga got a hundred gay jokes. Oh, shit. This nigga got a hundred gay jokes. All right, what you got for us, Todd? We only did one of his topics. Back out there, man. So the Super Bowl is going down, man. Huh? Yeah, we out there, man. Super Bowl, man. The Super Bowl. The Super Bowl's going down, and the team that wears white usually dominates the Super Bowl. If you are 14 out of 17 Super Bowls, the team wearing white wins, and the Rams is wearing white this year, and the Bengals have but Bengals got the pick, and they pick black, so that's that's fucking dumb. Mm. Most of us mm. wearing Cowboys, right? <laughs> no, what? What? Yeah. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dallas Cowboys wearing white. Cowboys ain't been to the Super Bowl since how yeah. long? We're talking yeah. about must be the money was. When last time Cowboys won. Talking about the football team. Last time, uh, <laughs> last time the Cowboys wore the Super Bowl show was a puppy. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Nigga, last time they won, nigga, you only had great grandchildren. Uh. <laughs> only had great. <laughs> 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 you dress like you about to perform at a homeless talent show. Uh, you Everybody dress like you about to, you, you dress like you about to uh, get ready for Hell in a Cell match. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Super Bowl, what is it? 51? Yeah. Yeah, 51? Man, the Rams is in LA, man. Home team, man. Home team? The niggas from St. Louis. <laughs> no, nah, the Rams is the LA Rams. They left and went to St. Louis and then they came back. No, nah, they the LA Rams. St. Louis Rams. Eric Dickerson in them, man. Oh, I went alive. I don't know. Who you talking about? Show get tired of them. Uh, <laughs> He get tired of airlines putting him under the plane when he travels. Nigga <laughs> 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 stupid, nigga. Nigga stupid. You got that Kevin McAllister jacket from Home Alone. He <laughs> 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 think all nice shit is Christmas. <laughs> That just got nice shit. You got that shit, sir, yet? That nigga jacket out of season, nigga. Blaze is a DJ show hunter. 
<laughs> you a grown <laughs> Glasses like and the dreads. Like you know? It's only video game kids. You know? You didn't like it? Right, 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 right. That shit was funny to me. Show just got his emotional support dog license. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga Todd dressed like he worked at a recycle plant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Separate the cans from the bottles. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Todd's Todd t-shirt looked like it came with a glow-in-the-dark sticker. Uh-huh. <laughs> you, you, right, this nigga up in here with a purple sherbet. It's purple sherbet. Sherbet. <laughs> it's funny. It's purple. It's All right, let's take it to We're going to wrap it up. <laughs> tell, tell, us, tell them where they can find you, man. Ken Roethlisberger, Snaptastic underscore pen on IG. Uh, get your eye right there. The Dina Collective album coming soon. You think you write all the time? Will I write more? There we go. Hey. Wow. In Jesus' name. Jamona. Jamona. I know it was the big guy, but hey. Hey, what mama said? Right, let me ask you a question. What mama said was saving my mama's <laughs> 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 we never knew what that meant. We try to know. Good. Oh, right. man. This is Google. Google. Oh, and shout out to my nigga Todd. His theme song. Whenever he walks into a room, is nanny nanny boo boo. All right, go. No. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, your jacket's slippery. That nigga jacket made out of fat. Jacket made out of booth seats. He said it twice. Nigga got on a couch skin jacket. Now that nigga, that nigga shit made out of fat bitch couch. Whatever it is. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, Big Boy Seats. Uh, Blaze, tell them where they can find you, man. That nigga's Blaze, tell them. They shut that shit up. Hey, check this out. Bad Boy Blaze, shout out to myself. Double O B L Z. Follow me at Instagram. I'm giving away somebody's girlfriend next week, so. B L Z, how the back? Oh my God, somebody called that nigga Loso's cousin. <laughs> hey, and the dude that's losing his girlfriend, bro, don't trip, man. Holla at Dolly Otto. He got it. <laughs> comfort. Holla at Otto. Comfort, 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 comfort zone. Y'all can never fix and chill, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even worry about the nigga, though. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't, 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 don't be concerned about the nigga. Listen, I got you. Hey, Otto, you walked right into that shit, nigga. You only gonna say it. <laughs> you said it looking like that, then you walk right into that shit. <laughs> the removable mustache. And shit. <laughs> what you had going today? <laughs> I think it was a construction worker. Nigga. Right, took all that. A off. referee. Now that that nigga's a five-year-old. Nigga. <laughs> Instagram, it's Autobots, man. YouTube, Autobots. Uh, TikTok. Um, uh, TikTok, Instagram, autosexual. 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 Everything in the play. <laughs> I'm no saying time I just out. like sex. Social, period. Social <laughs> That's funny as fuck. Snapper. <laughs> food. I fuck my food all the time. <laughs> well, looking good, man. Uh, yeah, I mean. Yeah. You dope. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> fucking a shower water like. Nigga, uh. <laughs> 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 spaghetti, nigga. <laughs> Spaghetti, oh my god. You had the worst spaghetti on your balls, nigga. Oh, nigga, you ain't living. I go all the way in. You ain't living. All All right, man. The real Duncan Penny you use on Instagram. She had a menage a trois with me. (laughs) With some squashes. The two squashes. The <laughs> yellow squash and the purple squash. I fucked him. Sonny Jacket in trouble. He already knows. Yeah, Sonny Jacket in trouble. That nigga got three more payments on it. That nigga can take that shit. That nigga got auto insurance on it. She got auto insurance. That got dance insurance on it. <laughs> <laughs> If we do that, if we do that, nigga, it's covered. It's covered. He got a new, he got a new sleeve going. He cleaned that motherfucker with armor on. Man. <laughs>
Uh, uh, <laughs> I had to learn a dance routine before that job. <laughs> 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 He's like, I'm going to let you have it, but you got to get that spin right. <laughs> <laughs> That's the little brother from uh, Save the Last Dra the Last Dragon. Oh, yeah. Save the Last Dragon. Yeah. I hey. fucked it up. Save the Last Dragon. Hey, hey. Oh, no. I mean, Save the Last Dance, that but nigga, it was a mixed yeah. movie. That nigga yell every time you put that jacket on. He'd be like, oh! <laughs> 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 Save the Last Dance. Yeah. <laughs> like, where am I moonwalking? Why am I moonwalking? Why am I moonwalking right now? <laughs> Yeah. 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 All right, man, let me get a video by sign. Because y'all niggas is stupid. Why am I moonwalking? Hold on, man. Sonny, don't ever do that. Let me bring the YouTube on Instagram, man. Hey, Blade Brown dropping on the 14th, my nigga. I'm going to have a listening party. You know what I'm saying? I'll give y'all more uh, details on that. I mean, uh, yeah, man, that shit rocking. And, and I'm saying, concocting some dope shit. And I'm saying, these past couple weeks, I ain't cutting my hair until I, until I finish the project. You know what I'm saying? My nigga been looking rough, ain't cause I've been, you know what I'm saying, with that nigga, you know what I'm saying, Todd's mom. Because right. <laughs> I've been working, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let us see the, 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 the hairdo. Let me say, if, if you grow your hair out, I'll take my hat. <laughs> no matter how hard I try, it's not gonna happen. I'm talking about just grow it out, just grow the sides out. Nigga said that shit look like a, a Reese's cup. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be so happy if I did that. I'd be juice. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Todd is trying to avenge the death of his brother. That's what he looks like. That nigga did every dope job in town. I'm gonna catch you. It's now or never. It's now or never. Todd grew that crown around his head. It looked like one of those super suckers. Man, uh, you built the Jolly Rancher around the... Hey, Todd walk out the room by dropping smoke pellets. That nigga about to shoot your ass with a ninja star in there. You better calm down. Damn. He tiptoe everywhere, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. <laughs> She'd be like, shh. <laughs> to, to people he don't know. They'd be like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> keep it quiet, boy. I never met you. Why I gotta keep quiet? <laughs> It's very, very important that you be quiet. You don't want to set off my enemy. <laughs> Show right now, uh, <laughs> 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 Is it a perfect friend? Craig, Craig, did you put that spoon print in your beanie? <laughs> it did, I know it did come like that. You did that for you. Yeah, uh, yeah. Fuck it up, man. Okay. Show. Sure. Yeah, that's that my friend. That was, uh, I mean, you know, Uncle Todd, Uncle Todd, comedy. The art of war, <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! He walked to my friend. He walked to. I think you have tons of enemy advice. Do not set off your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Never be the tiger you want to kill. <laughs> Never be the time you want to kill is the funniest shit ever. What the? Oh, shit. Oh, man. Hey, at least you ain't got on that nigga jacket again. <laughs> <laughs> you got a point, my nigga. Shout out. You got a point. Shout out to uh, Richie's jacket, man. The unisex Beach Street jacket he got on.
Hey, show don't change clothes. He just put new clothes over the old clothes. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone off of Over the Top. It's all good. It's all good. Craig, I feel some kind of way to even tell you this, bro, because I know you're professional, but it ain't funny when you're telling the truth, my nigga. Bro, you got on you, you got on welding pants, my nigga. Like, if you don't go in, shit, my nigga, go weld some shit together, my nigga. <laughs> Blaze, Blaze just like he piloted the Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> Turbo boost now! It's been about five shows since you said that. We'll let it go. Nah, it's still funny. Nah, Blaze. It's it still is, funny. Blaze is an undersized giant. Oh, out there, huh? Okay, you know what I'm saying? We're good for you out there, Tom. Yeah, I'm out there. Turn, turn, like turn, up, turn up the reception on Blaze's dreads. They fuzzy. Uh, <laughs> he said you got fuzzy. Tell them where they can find you, Tom. Uncle Todd Comedy, you know what I'm saying? Twitter, IG, Facebook. Check the album out. Left Me in Pasadena is on there. It's called I'm Out There. Taco Tuesday. Blame the bartender. I'm out there. Shout out to the I'm Out There Nation. I know you out there. Woo! <laughs> There's one nigga out there who said that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Son, he still got that jacket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Veteran move, Blake. That's a veteran move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That nigga drew a wild card. Who knows? That was Euro Sim right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The Euro Sim yeah. yeah. The Euro Sim yeah. 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 I'm just saying, man. You know what I mean? That. that look like uh, that's what Brittany Griner had on when she proposed to her wife. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany Griner, hey, <laughs> that's hilarious, bro. Nigga, that's hey, your hey, closet. Hey, 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 and you got your Tim's tied all the way up to the top. I ain't gonna say nothing about that. Though. You're gonna make me mad. You're gonna make me mad. I think you got the Tim's off and lace them up right. Oh, man. <laughs> that's crazy. Bro. Never know when you got a moonwalk in these. <laughs> <laughs> I was still on the my back. I'm sorry, that was the highest level. Oh, yeah, man. man. Yeah. Rap sacks. My nigga put that jacket on and just lean forward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What you doing? I'm stretching my jacket. I'm stretching my jacket. Hey, shit. We still don't know what that is. Okay. They got some light up shoes on, too. <laughs> To the ground some, light, like the LA gears. Yeah. <laughs> you want, you want, you want the, the sidewalk to light up, like the nigga, the <laughs> Billy Jean video. That nigga, that nigga jacket come with a stretch tape. They yeah. show you how to stretch it out before you wear it. <laughs> That's right, Doc. That was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You got that jacket tape? on. Now you got that red tape. You put on when you your brake light break. Uh. <laughs> 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 Police ain't pulling me over, nigga. Fuck yeah. that, nigga. That nigga jacket, that nigga jacket, that nigga jacket came with a box of candy. Got a time to get ready. Sonny gonna shoot a nigga up in his back. Sonny look like, Sonny look like, Sonny look like the coolest nigga in Mexico City. The series. What's up, Sonny? Oh, that nigga finished you looking up. Okay. Something, I say no thing. You say something, I say no thing. Bullshit, Frank. He said, I'll kill your niece. He made that shit too. He bought that jacket for my friend. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That yeah. Friend. My that nigga should, friend. That nigga should. My friend. Right, that nigga should have put some castle on that girl. My friend and my friend. My friend. That nigga got that. My friend, that's my friend. That nigga got that jacket. My friend is my friend. He got that. He got that. They smiling at that jacket, nigga. No, that's Afro and my friend. And the fuck guys I know. That nigga got a moustache. A moustache. Moustache? I think the color was yellow. My nigga got his jacket from Poncho's giveaway. He look like Fat Joe's mentor. So Pablo got killed in 1987. Oh, oh, yeah. Is them zippers yeah, the on that sleeve? Oh. <laughs> 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 Can you unzip one of the zippers? Just, <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to unzip it all the way. Let's do the elbow, man. Let's do the elbow. Let's do the elbow. Show the jacket, man. You lied, man. Show the jacket, man. Hey, man, show us you bought it, my nigga. You bought it. Yeah. Hey, that nigga wrote the Scarface script. And then got on. The part when they said hello to my little friend, <laughs> it's based on my life, friend. Yeah. It's based oh. on my life. Yeah. <laughs> it happened to me. That nigga, that nigga like people's in shaft. I like your friend, that's your internet. When I put this jacket on, when I put this jacket on, I go like this. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> All that shit cool. All that shit cool. Uh, hey, that nigga like Tito Ortiz. Nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Otto, I'm that nigga Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga, that nigga came with a high heel phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. I don't want that football. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga good. <laughs> I never get the sports yeah. illustrated shit. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. That looks like the only rock star in Puerto Rico. You ready to rock it? Fucking rock. What the fuck about that? Nephew Yankee over there? Nephew Yankee. Oh, 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 o
Oh, now that guy's so mean. Nah, sure. uh, I, 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 I knew the nigga was special when he bought the same chain twice. Okay. Yeah. Come on, it's a little bullshit. Get a little bullshit. Right. Nigga on the choker. That nigga look like he uh, on his way to Beverly Hills Cop. <laughs> It's 1983 over where I'm going. Yeah, where I'm going. Yeah, where I'm going. Sonny. Sonny coming in 1983. Sonny. Fuck you niggas at. Sonny jacket is made out of beef jerky skins. <laughs> All right, we went. Sonny jacket. <laughs> I was, I was, wait, I was trying to. Sonny, ja Sonny jacket made out of Superman boots. <laughs> <laughs> Those boots was made for walking. <laughs> That jacket is working. It's working. Look like a woman of the night with that jacket on. Yeah. That nigga like a black Chris Angel out this moment. That nigga gonna do magic, nigga. He snapped. That nigga gonna do magic. You can see it now. I'm a highly respected executive in real life. That nigga dressed like a black Chris Angel. That nigga dressed like a black Chris Angel. They were never hiring no one like you. That nigga dressed like he plan on asking Punky Brewster for a date. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga, and the nigga jumped up to my end the show. I thought he was gonna say, "Go, go, go!" And the nigga's gonna jump up and say, "It's about the night." <laughs> <laughs> my nigga got that. My nigga got that men on film jacket. My nigga got that men on film jacket. <laughs> Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is yeah. he's stuck in a jacket. He can't take it off. That's why, that's, that's why he comes in the show so he can go that home. Nigga, the jacket is held on them hostages, what you say. <laughs> he got to get cut out the jacket. That nigga, to swim. <laughs> and that nigga got that. That's why they taught him the routine. The zippers are stuck. They don't work. So he can't peel it Hold on, off. hold on, Meshach Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a Richie back here. Let me get a Richie back here. <laughs> Designing woman jacket in there. <laughs> my, nigga, my nigga Ice Pick Cyburns. What did you say? Hey, Dozy. Dozy. Hey, Dozy. Yeah, uh, Dozy. Shit, I forgot what I was gonna talk about. Well, shit, fuck it, man. Regular Speak English, I know. That nigga about to say, nga moon, nigga. What? Nga, nga, nga. Man, I don't wait at that, man. Nga, wait. You know, man, I don't wait at that, man. Nga, wait. Nga, wait. Two babu, dude. I'm fucking with you, nigga. Come on. Todd over here saying, go back to your country and chat. I'm now ignoring. Go back to your country, Chinese. Oh shit! I text these niggas. We done roasted Craig, and look what the fuck happened. I get it, niggas. Are you taking that? Hey, Ty, Ty, keep a bowl of white rice by his bed. Ty keep a fist of rice in his pocket. Uh, <laughs> dumplings. You dump. <laughs> you say your shit? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Ty became a man in a donut shop. <laughs> <laughs> Four o'clock in the morning. They make sure you glaze. They make sure to glaze. You don't glaze like they can glaze the other way. I took you. I'll make for you. I'll make for you. Oh, man. Go ahead, go ahead, dog. Go ahead, dog. Her. Y'all niggas. Yeah. <laughs> um, regular underscore DLC. <laughs> I love everybody. I mean, I'm, I'm out of here, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Catch y'all niggas on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's in the goddamn show. I'm high as hell. Y'all <laughs> niggas is funny as fuck. Man. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank the chat room for joining us and all that shit. You got the pop. <laughs> 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 I've been here before. I, mean, I, I, I should have 
The challenge ain't done nothing to you, man. Leave him alone. Hey, while you in the chat room, man, hey, hit that like button. Hit that like button. Hey man, y'all and y'all y'all get hit up my nigga Cash App, uh, man. Bully what is Dollar sign yeah. bully foot, nigga. <laughs> dollar sign, yeah, get this yeah, nigga. <laughs> dollar sign bully foot. I don't know. Uh, and then like yeah, we got we got the, all the good shit going on the show. My YouTube to want me, but yeah, happy birthday, Craig, goddamn it. Uh, in the year of the dragon. <laughs> Hey, Ty gonna set a liquor store and move back to Vietnam. <laughs> it's, it's a good luck year. <laughs> Prosperity. <laughs> Prosperity. Sonny's jacket is made out of the red rope off of baloney. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start with it. That was, that was good. That was, that was bad at first. Yeah, baloney rope is funny. You just said baloney rope. I would have died. When, when, this, <laughs> when, when this nigga Craig gave up truck driving, that's when he grew his chin hairs in. Oh, okay. Uh, nigga doing little kid jokes. <laughs> <laughs> my daddy. You wear a nut bomb too, dude. <laughs> and the cow jumped over the moon. He <laughs> <laughs> so laughed because he saw such a sport. Hey, Sonny is the type of nigga. Juan ran away with the Son, uh, Sonny dressed like the type of nigga that need, that danced to clear his mind. That's crazy. I never thought about it. I think it'd be, I'd be like, I never thought about it that way. <laughs> That nigga, what the fuck? That nigga like he slide in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Okay, I'm fucking with that. That's how you holler at bitches like he in a music video. Girl. You dance around her? I'm making so much progress. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know you're about to start trouble when he be like, five, four, three, two. <laughs> My blade, I'll cut this bitch. <laughs> I'll cut this bitch with my blade. <laughs> he doesn't know who he's fucking with. Quick, fast life. See, the show is over. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's the jacket, son. It's yeah. the jacket. Yeah, he brought that jacket. In 85, 85, you would have been a man, nigga, uh, in 85. Yeah. 2022, shut your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shut up, shut up. My nigga dressed like he in Vice City. You don't eat all the nigga watermelon? Yeah. On the table. You don't eat all the nigga That's what DJ shows do. Yeah. He said he's a creature. Oh, my God. That's what DJ shows do. That's what he does. Sonny dressed like he'd give you a deal on the Nintendo. Super Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Super Mario. I get a track and field pad, the duck duck duck. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. I just can't feel pain. <laughs> if you really jacket in the summertime, it's going to shrink. <laughs> oh, shit. It's, it's already shrunk. Oh, wow. the, the jacket is too small. Five, nigga. six, seven, eight. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga. The nigga. That nigga pick up on dance moves fast. You see, dance one. No, I can't do that. <laughs> you did the shit? That nigga yeah. all don't look like the yeah. brother in Sugar Show Hill. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, my you wearing that I, The tickets, I got to get this. Yeah. Okay. Man, we're going to be in uh, Seattle, February 26th. Yeah. Yeah. The Langston Hughes Theater. Okay. It's going to be a great time. Yes, Tickets are going to sell tomorrow. Um, make sure y'all support, and we'll talk more about it next week. If I owe you something, get it from God. God, God, God. Appreciate you. God, God, God. Happy birthday, Craig. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.